in control or when you press new game? Uh, when the loading screen uh, fills okay. up. Okay, I've got it, right. All right, let's go. All right, go. All right, so welcome to San Andreas. And uh, this game was last seen in ESA 2014. And yes. since then, it's changed quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same run anymore, not at all. Nice yeah. wheelie. <laughs> yeah, I do a little wheelie there because you can actually go a bit faster. You can save maybe half a second on this first cycle. Yeah, so uh, this run will be the same as it was previous years for about two hours. Um, and then once we get to the second city, uh, then things get a little bit more broken. <laughs> yeah. We've we got normal gameplay until then. Uh, so yeah, right at the start, uh, you just ride away and you don't need the bike, even though it tells you. Wonderful. This game is really inconsistent with what is allowed and what isn't. Uh, for instance, here, it's just you can completely ignore like what is the main objective of the level. Just, uh, just push Sweet. Yeah, Sweet is the character who triggers the next cutscene. So it was a bit unfortunate that he was stuck all the way in the back. He got probably got spun out. And there's this pink car that's kind of uh, annoying. Yeah. You can sort of lose it a little bit, but it still sticks with you. Yeah, and it kind of teleports if you get too far away. You can actually kill the driver and then you can like skip part of the cutscene here. But yeah, you, yeah, you can skip this part. Yeah. But you need a gun. Yeah. yeah. It would be a pain in the butt to get a gun this early. Yeah, uh, you can sometimes get a police officer spawn right at the uh, where this car actually spawned. So you can like ride him over with the bike. Ooh. The bike? Oh. Alright. So yeah. Oh you got it. Yeah, so at this point, yeah, he is gonna get a gun now because we're waiting for the other two to like cycle over us the stairs yeah. and stuff. Wow. That didn't uh, turn out too well. Okay, just... next spot, next spot. <laughs> Uh, there's a backup gun if he doesn't get it, but yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a slightly slow. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Uh, that's bad. Whatever. Backup gun it is. Yeah. So there's like a, a gun in the corner of Grove Street that you can pick up, but obviously it's a lot slower. Because picking a gun up now while they're still cycling is like, you know, kind of optimal. But you can do it at the end of the mission. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Time to bail. Car flip uh, RNG. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get blown up. It's fine. Alright, alright. I'm just worried. Yeah, that was the, the old curb bounce. Yeah. Rearing its ugly head. I don't think Ryder stopped actually, so it's not too oh, bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. You didn't lose any time as long as you get there quick enough. Which you should do. Yeah. Good. Uh, <laughs> a little too soon. So yeah, when Ryder is in range, that marker stops you when you hit it. Uh, but if you're a little early, you just go through it and <laughs> you look like an idiot. <laughs> All right, right, get the gun. The backup gun in the corner. In the corner. Kinda. Marathon lock. You got more ammo too, so it's good if you miss, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will miss uh, Ryder's car like 18 times. Yeah, probably. And a little tutorial about saving, which we don't need. And just turn around and go back out. And uh, there's this one strat in this mission. It's uh, really, really, really complicated. Yeah, it's like really hard to explain, but basically yeah. you have to blow up Ryder's car. And you have to do that uh, because Rydog should interrupt me now. Uh, Josh Miz, I just want to interrupt you because uh, we got a 10,000 donation to, uh, from Anonymous. Yeah. Oh, sorry. One thousand. Uh, how much was it? 10, oh no, ten thousand. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 10, uh, for, flat <laughs> top, <laughs> for flat top to win. So uh, flat someone top. was crazy enough to donate ten thousand to make sure flat top won. Uh, <laughs> now I need money then. Yeah. So that kind of messes things up. Uh, so to get the flat top hairstyle, you actually need more money than you start with. Uh, so what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm look, for, look for a drug dealer. Okay. The, the normal strat is you get that haircut if you see a drug dealer at the start, because you can pick up all their money and they have loads. Uh, but that didn't happen because we thought we were going to get Afro. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, are you just going to buy a truck? I'm on a mission, though. Mm. 
blow up Ryder's car for a second time. <laughs> Why did you blow it up twice? <laughs> uh, All right, fine. I'm sticking. All right, yeah, go on. Uh, so yeah, the the backup for the backup marathon safe strats is to do a side mission, which is fire truck to get enough money. So we're gonna do some true 100%. You have to approach from a certain direction, don't you? Uh, yeah. So if it, it would spawn, it would be great. Yeah, you have to do it to approach from a certain direction to make it spawn. Like I don't think this is gonna work. You have to go like uh, from the east. But you do this in 100% though. Yeah. So this is 100% now. I hope marathon organizers are okay with this. <laughs> yeah, so the strat for marathon uh, for a hundred percent is to do fire truck first to get all the money you need. Uh, lots of police, that'll be fun. <laughs> all right, uh, so we're just gonna do fire truck. Don't worry about it. Uh, ooh, that's better. So yeah, just need to do one round of fire truck to get enough money. Going well so far. Yep. All right, there we go. Good. Hooray! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Flat top's arguably the best haircut anyway. So. Yep. Just uh, that they're RNG. Yeah. <laughs> Drug dealer RNG. I also <laughs> blew up Ryder's car a second time just to make sure the strat works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a bit inconsistent sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you, need, you even blow it up like three times. It's pretty yeah. bad. <laughs> All right, here we go again. All right, let's uh, resume where we left off. I forgot what we were saying. Uh, something about uh, laptop being the best haircut. Yeah, yeah, laptop's the best haircut because it makes you look like a, uh, a certain someone, sort of. From West bit. Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Born and raised. Yeah. And uh, a, the haircut gives good RNG. Yes, I need it. Mm -hmm. It was. It has been awful so far. <laughs> It'll improve. There we go. <laughs> Flat top. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, we have a ten dollar donation from anonymous. Thirty dollar donation from anonymous. Uh, ten dollar donation from anonymous that says thank you for doing this, and whoops donated uh, five dollars as well. Oh hey thanks. <laughs> All right, so we've got to buy a pizza because tutorials on how to eat. Yeah. Do you plan on eating anywhere else? Chili dog. Chili dog. Safety. Fair enough. So yeah, CJ gets hungry and stuff and you need to feed him. Uh, but we're so fast that he doesn't need to eat for the entire run. Well, we do it once to be safe, but that's more for health than for hunger. Yeah, one pizza slice and one chili dog is enough for uh, like five hours. Yeah. Travel across the entire state. Yep. Yeah, and also if you save your game, apparently it resets your hunger, so... <laughs> Sound fast. I oh, think the fire truck's still there. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Only losing like a uh, couple minutes. Yeah, 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 well record pace. <laughs> What's a few minutes for a few hours of Will Smith? Yeah. yeah. It's worth it. So this mission is a little tutorial about spraying tags. Repre representing the old Grove Street. Yeah. And uh, Sweet does some fun things during this mission. It's, this is one of the few missions where the AI drives sometimes instead of you. And he, he does it very interestingly. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta spray these spray tags. Ooh, optimal. And this, this one is actually on the other side of the wall, but uh, you can spray it through the wall. Sweet kept the engine, engine running. Either? Yeah. Well, he's wasting gas. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about global warming in this era. <laughs> Not yeah. Too. Yeah, that's true. All right. So pay attention to Sweet as he uh, drives away from here. So you get out the passenger side, pa uh, driver side, and he just drives away <laughs> from the passenger side. There's a little skip you can do here. Go for it. Nice. What the fox skip? <laughs> Oh. Sort of. <laughs> I shot the second guy on yeah, purpose so he would still say uh. what the fuck. <laughs> but yeah, it uh, skips a little tutorial about gangs. Another little skip, jump up there, because we're still skinny enough to do that. You yeah, you can't do that with uh, Fat CJ. Oh. 
No yeah. boop. Yeah. Optimal. Oh yeah, boopless. See. Yeah, the uh, the spray tags. Oh yeah, he's in the passenger side again. Uh, oh no, he isn't. <laughs> he Wait, wasn't, and now he is. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the, the spray tags are really weird. They're like programmed by two different people or something. So there's a sound the spray tag makes when you spray it. It goes boop. Um, and that happens when you spray it 100% of the way. Uh, but the game detects you as spraying it and giving you percentage and stuff for it at 97% sprayed. Something like that. So if you spray it without hearing the sound, you did it really well. So good job. Even though that one doesn't matter at all because you're just waiting on the cutscene anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, we got a five dollar donation from Anonymous that says, "Watching this with my wife's son, he's loving this. Keep it up." <laughs> oh, hey, mm. thanks. Wonder who could have done that donation. <laughs> now it's time to clean the hood. Yeah, so we finally get actual like combat. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that's faster. It is faster, actually. Yeah, because always you have to get out of the car. Yeah. So the game wants you to like go beat this guy up, but uh, we have guns, so... Yeah. One of the reasons you got a gun at the start. Yeah. Hey, grab hold of that bad old of, uh, cars. Uh, just take the Esperanto. Okay, Clover, that's good. Yeah, car RNG is kind of a factor in this. It's not too much in this run anymore. There's a few spots. But it's like, if you get any car that's not really slow it's normally fine because like this is such short drive it's fine there's like yeah. two long drives where you need a random car right there are like a handful yeah good afternoon ball of dope pushes gross uh three dollar donation from green mage thank you for donating all right so we're supposed to beat these people up with a bat but again guns uh good don't take that out of context <laughs> Right, and this cop actually isn't a real cop. He's scripted into the mission with just regular ped AI. So if he drags you out of the car, he won't actually bust you. He'll just beat you up. Yeah, Need to make it easy for some reason or something. Yeah, I can't have people getting busted. Now that the base ain't getting pushed up in their faces, maybe these fools should be up for some real bang. Yeah, Grove gonna get back on his feet now for sure, though. Later, homie. Hey, you drive through. Do you me have you memorized the uh, big smoke warning? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, it's up to you then. Yeah. You gotta. So yeah, there's a fantastic cutscene in this mission that everybody loves, uh, but we're gonna skip it obviously because speed. So uh, yeah. So um, CJ gets uh, number nine. Uh, Sweet gets a number nine as well. Just yeah. like he is. Yeah, and yeah. then Ryder gets a number. S Wait, no. Sweet gets a number six with extra dip. Ryder gets a number nine. Just yeah. like his. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Sweet gets um, two number nines, a number nine large, number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s. One of them has extra cheese, and he gets a large soda. Hey! So, yeah. <laughs> I think that's right. It is. Okay. Com trust me. All right, I trust you. <laughs> completely ignoring the strat of lining Sweet's window with the uh, passenger side window yeah. of the other car. <laughs> Memes are more important than yep. strats. It's fine. Yeah. Yours has some fond memories of that strat. Yeah, ages ago when uh, the only run of this game was a segmented run on SDA. The, uh, the runner uh, did a skip in there that Omega just did, uh, where the passenger side gets out of the car, passenger side enemy gets out of his car, and you could just run him over and kill him, um, which is a lot faster. And he says in the audio commentary for that it's because he pushes the car to the other side of the road and he gets out. So for many, many months when I learned this game, I was pushing the car to the other side of the road and never having him get out. It was only once when Sweet accidentally shot the driver through the window uh, that I realized it's killing the driver that makes the passenger get out, which is what Omega lines up to do. And sick phone call skip. Yep. All because I got a good turn at Big Smokes. Mm. So I was there way earlier than the phone call. Yeah, so you can cancel the animation of CJ putting the phone down by falling off ledges, which is why CJ is still holding the phone. The phone was supposed to be a weapon, you know, with all your yeah. and stuff. It's still in the game files, right? Yeah, along with the skateboard and jetpack. Does the phone have any, like, advantages to the fist? Like, do you get any extra attack or something? I don't think so. No. It might work like the parachute, where it's, like, glitched and you can destroy invincible cars with it. 
Not sure. Oh yeah, Paul's buffering to skip. Nope. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. It's a bit inconsistent. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few Paul's buffers in this game. Probably should have pre <laughs> pre warned about that. But yeah, you guys are talking so. <laughs> yeah, more Paul's buffers. He's gonna try and skip audio with it. Because you have nothing to do here. You're not having any luck with that. Yeah. Mm. Went He's perfectly in practice. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's not like I'm losing time by doing that. Yeah. But it's worth it to go for it. Oh, man. Check out Special Agent Big Smoke. No crouch? Why would I? Alright. Less recoil. Yeah, there we go. Now it's hey, skipped. Hey, yeah, you go. So he skipped uh, Emmett's dialogue there by Paul's buffering. Somehow. <laughs> Shoot Big Smoke a bit to train handgun skill. Yeah, that's why. Okay. And now just drive Smoke back to his place. There are some uh, pretty good curbs here that can sometimes flip the car. Yeah, yeah if you're going too fast. Nice twist. Thanks, yeah. CJ. Yeah. And then there's a blade, blade anyway. anyway yeah. <laughs> it probably will drive off. Speak. Puts the phone down. <laughs> Just answer the phone. Speak. Put the phone down. <laughs> Yeah. Blade is one of the faster cars you can get in Los Santos. Yeah, it's pretty good. It also spins out really easily. Which is good for something. And now we're gonna buy some clothes. Uh, Will Smith doesn't care about their business. It but five dollars for two. Not everything, 99 cents. <laughs> no, Will Smith lives a high class life. Alright, alright. Whoa! With a white tank top. Do you have hydraulics? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sick. We have a ten dollar donation from Counterpillow who says if only we could have a donation incentive to get Yoshimush a haircut in real life. Thanks, Counterpillow. Good to hang with you, brother. I'm sorry I did a little tip. Don't worry about it. Hey, it ain't gonna ban you from my chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we get the uh, Oglock. Yep. Got to drive him to a place, then drive him to another place, and do a bunch of missions for him. Driving to places, that's uh, a lot of things in this game. I like that. Yeah. Driving to places and shooting some people. Oh yeah, and I'm, I'm flicking the camera up and down to uh, despawn traffic. Yeah. Well, not despawn, you re-roll the RNG. It's like, uh, if you flick the camera down and look away from the cars, if they're like, if they're not, if they're the lowest LOD, like, level of detail, if they're the furthest away, and you flick the camera down to look down and look back up, you like, they unload, and then the game tries to respawn cars, but it's only like a 25% chance or something that it does. So, you don't despawn traffic, you re-roll the RNG, but it's in your favor, so... More often than not, you despawn cars, but sometimes one spawns like right in front of you and it's really annoying. Yeah, and here's Freddy. And you're gonna do a skip? Yeah, I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, you're supposed to follow him for like five minutes through Los Santos, uh, but we know where he's gonna go, so we're just gonna line up and shoot him there. And, uh, yeah, fun fact, if you manage to actually knock Freddy off of his bike, uh, the game crashes. So don't do that. I know how the game crashes in so many ways. <laughs> Decent. Oh, okay. Thanks so, God for Oglock. <laughs> so yeah, this is one of those uh, spots where you need a, a good car, because it's a long drive, and it's like there's no consistent spawn. It's a really bad area as well. I once found a ZR there. It's never happened to me again. Tyrion has gotten a Banshee before. Tau! <laughs> nice cheats. Just like in the ghetto area of Los Santos, <laughs> just a Banshee just rolls through. Okay. Yeah. Hey, maybe it's uh, one of those rappers who made it big. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to their home place. 
Yeah, you can get pretty much everything between like a perennial and a banshee. Third beam? Yeah. Is that slower than a perennial? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I just you can never take it, I guess. One of the better ones is a police car as well, but that has its own problems obviously. This car has nice enough handling, but it's not quite fast. Uh, we have a $50 donation from Manly Picnic. It says, enter a comment here, optional, L-U-L. And a $15 donation from Anonymous. Love this marathon uh, and its purpose. Keep up the good work, guys. Hey, thanks. Why hey, thanks? Uh, not like that. No. <laughs> uh, who wants to explain this? <laughs> Going to the beach. Yeah. yeah, I'm just on my way to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he crosses over here to like get into what would be Grove Street territory because he wants to recruit a gang member for yeah. a skip here. Yeah, you can't go to the beach without friends. Yeah. You've got to find some. Yep. Uh, my friends have abandoned me. Yeah, where are all your friends? So yeah, you can recruit your fellow gang members in this game, and they're useful for very limited things in the speedrun. Yeah. Uh, but this is one of them. Mm -hmm. So I just recruit anyone, the closest one to the car, and we take them to the party. Yeah, party time. So you're, you're supposed to dance here to unlock, get the girl to unlock the van with all the sounds in it for you, uh, which we're trying to steal. Uh, but if you just try to steal the locked car a lot, uh, the homie just, no, just goes through the locked door. Uh, and then we shoot him in the face. And then he leaves the door open, and then you can get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just abusing his master key there. Yeah, yeah. No way. <laughs> <laughs> what? No way. <laughs> oh, dear. This game. <laughs> oh, careful. Bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, th this gun has, or this car has, like, uh, like, suspension on steroids. Yeah. You can, like, hit a curb and then just do a front flip randomly. Pretty bad. I may have too much grief for one booty. They dropped the bomb on you. But you should know, don't drop the bomb on me. What's your point? Green or G? Yeah, just taking the uh, optimal route to the storage unit. Oh yeah, and you'll notice the uh, dancing minigame icon on the map, uh, the, the yellow marker triangle thing is still there, because we never danced. Thankfully, uh, unlike later in the run, that one actually disappears. Well, to be fair, it used to be way worse. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Sultan is pretty good. Stallion. Stallion. <laughs> <laughs> it has almost most of the letters are right. <laughs> Yeah, this car is not actually that bad in this game. It's atrocious in the older ones. I mean, in GTA 3, it's better than a VC relatively to like the area, okay. I'd say, because like Portland has pretty crap cars in general. But, yeah, that's obviously much better in SA. Uh, another phone call, so we stopped short of the marker to answer it. Yeah. And there, there are some funky mechanics with this phone call. Like if you are around the Police station. Downstown police station. You actually get teleported here. Yeah. If you're on foot. Well, you have to be on foot, but... I think yeah. there's some other phone calls that does it in that area as well. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, we, we, like, someone found that you could teleport uh, to that gym if you stayed near the police station downtown. And we thought it was really cool, but unfortunately it's just quicker to drive there. And it's faster in 100% because you have tags. Ah, you can spray tags, yeah. Oh, so it got some use. That's good. All right, so in this mission, it teaches you how to sprint, uh, even though we've been doing it the whole game. <laughs> uh, it teaches you to super sprint. Super sprint, all right. Yep. And since we're so fast, we can actually just shoot this guy like way early if you don't miss. Why are you using the SMG? I usually use it. <laughs> Do you? Okay. Yeah, so you can line up a shot there and kill that guy early, uh, but it is it is tricky, to be fair. So, But there's a backup here. And hey, oh, hmm. okay. Oh. Fine. You're a little low on health. Uh, 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 <laughs> sweet skull? Question mark. Uh, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. 
Yeah, ran over twice. That was pretty unlucky. And there were like low ballers there as well. Just shot yeah. you up. Is marathon luck only. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people ask me how I sprint so fast in this game. And a lot of people don't know that tapping the spacebar is faster. Everyone just holds it, even though there's a mission designed to teach you to tap it. Like, how did they pass that mission? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can just steal a car or something and run it. I guess, over. but if they're smart enough to do that, why aren't they smart enough to read? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just read the damn thing. <laughs> well, you know, some people can't get past Demolition Man in Vice City. It literally tells you the controls. Oh, it took me like one month to beat this mission. <laughs> just, I just can't do it, man. It's so hard. Alright, so yeah, we have to do a drive-by here, uh, but cars are stronger than guns in this game, as you've just seen earlier. So we, we, we have a, like, they're in the same spot every time, so we have, like, which ones we drive over and which ones we let the other guys shoot. Uh, you mostly do all the work, yeah. Just shoot, just run everyone over everyone. Yeah. yeah, on the second group, if you're, like, too close to them, they actually won't spawn unless you look away. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going fast enough, a car is like a one-hit kill in the land you hit. So, we use that quite a lot, especially in missions like this. You know, I'm saying all these things, and I bet like Powdnet's in the chat correcting me every time. <laughs> Actually, John. <laughs> yeah, so Powdnet can be like the, the fourth commentator, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see Powdnet in chat, listen to what he says, he's right. <laughs> yeah. Probably. About technical stuff, at least. Yeah. Hope you like the new color. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, okay, so he's shooting here to get his wanted level back after the pain spray. Uh, and he's gonna do a thing with it. Do you wanna explain the thing? Uh, in a moment. Oh, okay, you're gonna safety. Yeah, okay, that's probably a good move. Alright, so we're gonna, we lied, we're gonna drink some Sprunk as well as eat that chili dog and that pizza earlier. Uh, but that's just safety because he was really low health, so I don't want to die in the next mission. Yeah. So I get two stars to get a cop car to follow me here. Hopefully it doesn't despawn. So I want to do some things with it. Might have despawned. No, he's there. So I'm going to shoot the car once, then shoot the officer to get two stars. And if I look back and run forward, it'll force a police bike to spawn every single time. Because uh, the way it works is this game can only spawn uh, one type of police vehicle at a time. It can either spawn bikes or cars. So in the previous mission, the game forced, uh, or the mission forced the game to only spawn cars. So when you finish the mission, it'll switch so it's only spawn of spikes. Uh, bikes are good in this game for missions with guns in it uh, because there's a bug in this game uh, where if you drive a car or drive a boat, I think it's a boat, if you drive a car basically, uh, it actually changes how accurate the AIs are. So if you're just a person on foot, right, it makes sense they can't hit you that much because you're like a person. But when you're in a car, they need to change how accurate the AIs are so they actually hit the car. Um, but if you get out of the car, they don't reset that value for mission spawned AIs. So if you drive a car to that mission and get out, they're gonna murder you. Yeah, they become like almost aimbots. They're yeah. really, really accurate. So you need to you need to take a bike to this mission optimally, like yeah. be fast. I mean, you can just run them over with the car, but it's faster than the bike anyway. But yeah, the, the car thing is used later on a lot. That bailout there skips a cutscene of CJ and the others getting out of the car. <laughs> Alright chat, I'm trying my best, I'm trying to explain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cars? Yeah, there are some. In this mission I gotta go pick up a, a lowrider from a garage and then take it to the train station where there will be a dance. Yeah, and it's, uh, in the auto garage, he's going to get flames for speed and 
nitrous for show. Yeah. yeah. Look at this menu wing. Pretty good. Uh, I love it when people are impressed by that. You press down and then space a whole lot. You <laughs> press up and space a whole oh. lot. Because you start at the top and if you press it, press up, it'll go to the bottom one, yeah. which is nitrous. Uh, we got $2 from Anonymous. Hanging out with my wife's boyfriend watching this run and has made <laughs> this Sunday a lot better. Keep it up, guys. Uh, this car is uh, great. We'll be seeing uh, a lot of it later, or more of it. Are you going to do the uh, thing? The thing? Of course. Excellent. Okay. So this mission's fun. Uh, there's a few funny facts about this mission while we have to sit for it. So if you pause and unpause here, uh, you can drive the car. Um, but unfortunately, there's like, well, unfortunately, there's rubber band sort of physics holding you in place in the center. So if you try to drive away, it like pings you back. Uh, but you can build up a whole lot of speed doing this, so I hope you're going to do that. Yeah, uh, in a bit. Uh, yeah, win the mini game first. We're getting uh, a score so that like the opposition's like not going to beat you ever. Yeah, there's <laughs> maybe like, like rarely. But you can get like two fouls and you're pretty safe there. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and there's also another really hilarious glitch of this mission. Uh, the way the Rockstar programmed the uh, mini game is that it times the arrows based on how long the computer has been on. It takes like, you know, time since boot and like calculates when the song started and when the song ends based on that. Um, but they used, I don't remember, it's like floating point error or a rounding point error or something like that. But basically, if your computer has been on for a really long time, these arrows don't work. <laughs> yeah, rockstar programming for you. Yeah. And it looks really weird. So if you see anyone, their arrows are like moving like, you know, massive blocks. Uh, time to restart the computer once in a while, maybe. <laughs> Try turning it off and back on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, quite the party we got going here. Yeah, pretty good. Try some nitrous. We have a $5 donation from Viv EAV. Where's Adam? I can hear him, but I can't see him. Not like this. You can't hear him. <laughs> well, yeah. He's uh. not even here. He's not even in the country, so... Is he... Are they talking about you? Yeah, apparently I'm Adam's son, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently. The Adam AK? <laughs> <laughs> Adam underscore JR. You're pretty good for a beginner, eh? Pretty Thanks, good for friend. a beginner, yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a dollar from Mr. Mary. Monster dupe, question mark? Yes. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, that's a thing later. That'll, that'll be fun to explain. If you thought I'm talking too much now, just wait. <laughs> yeah, this is nothing. Yeah. I'll just run here because it's faster than taking a car. And another uh, drop with a phone call to skip the putting away animation. And this is, uh, this is like a low rider race, so... Naturally, we take the best low rider, which is the Voodoo. Happens to be parked right there. So, uh, what's your strats for the start of this race? You do turtle and hair, or...? Wet like... A split second. Okay. Yeah, so these guys are morons, and you're at the back of the pack. Uh, so they all crash into each other, and you don't want to do that. So look at that, like, look what sees it, and just turns right in front of you, like, what? Uh, yeah, he either hits that lamppost or the wall, and then, good, yeah. Just avoid the crashes in your winners, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, then there's cars like that. Yeah. I'm just uh, turning in front of you there, we're right quick. And at the end of this race, I'm gonna get the chili dog. Yeah. Yeah. The mission coming up is uh, Mad Dog's run, right? Yeah. yeah. So I only need it for the health. Yeah. They can. 
If you're lucky, you might take like very little damage, but of course, you could take a lot more damage than that, so not worth the risk. Yeah, and it's especially bad as well because if you fail the mission, well, oh, there he is. Uh, yeah. If you fail the mission and retry it, the armor that's in it doesn't respawn. Yeah. Uh, makes it doubly hard. Yeah, for, for now things have been making a bit too much sense, but that'll change later. <laughs> we have a $2 donation from Anonymous, who says, Me and my son's wife are loving all the fun facts and tech in this run. Keep it up, guys. Why are you clapping there? <laughs> Can sometimes get a lucky bike spawn at the parking lot, but yeah. doesn't usually happen for me. Does it uh, change the AI? Do you know if you get a bike? No. Or the change is so minimal, it's hard to yeah. notice. Oh hey, we got another fun glitch coming up as well. Do you want to explain? Uh, if I remembered which one you were talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, the <laughs> thing. Okay, so if you get a gun that you can move with while aiming, and uh, you crouch, um, you sprint and then aim before you fully stand up, then you're going to start sliding with the weapon. Um, that's pretty useful indoors when you can't sprint, because it's, it's faster than walking, so. And it's also faster than spamming jump, so. It's a, it's a weapon you can move with, but not at full speed. Peace, Otherwise you could do it with a micro SMG. And stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, my yeah, bad, yeah. my bad. You're almost right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is the stealth system in this game? Oh yeah, stealth, yeah. Good. We get even more stealth later on as well with a shotgun. Stealth shotgun. He fired what no the shots. Hell? <laughs> All right. Maybe you didn't need that chili dog. <laughs> well, that's never happened before. Yeah, he just sort of <laughs> crouched and moved away from you. In fact, I've never even seen him crouch. Like what? Right. So yeah, now once we uh, once we get the book, we have weapons free. So we use yeah. uh, this spray tag, a uh, spray can, and you can slide with it. Will Smith's party trick. <laughs> <laughs> it's also pretty useful because it like Ow. blinds them for a bit, so they'll not shoot you on the way out. Yeah, it it this is slightly slower than sprinting, uh, but you can't sprint most of the areas in here, so it's, yeah. it's better. It's also safer too. Mm. All right, good. You really didn't need that chili dog. <laughs> well, I would be at like no health for burning desire. Oh yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah. 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 All right. Oops. <laughs> you didn't gain health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently that's a thing. Sometimes when you fall off your bike, you get like a tiny bit of health. Yeah, I don't know if it's visually. The, I don't know if it's the mission or what, but you gain little health there. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. We've got a uh, five-dollar anonymous donation. Where's the AK fruit guy? Uh, Wednesday at noon, that's when he gets here. Thank you for the five dollars. AK Fru guy? No. Uh, KZ Fru, he's doing Vice City all missions. Yeah, yeah, we've got a lot of GTA in this year, it's pretty good. Three is relatively high amount, I guess. I mean, they're pretty long, so... Yeah, we even got GTA 4, that's a, yeah, a first really for a marathon. Yeah, Mega here's doing four later. Yeah. Nice driving, by the way. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'll blame the traffic. <laughs> Never my traffic, fault. Traffic RNG. <laughs> Literally perfect. Never make mistakes. Pulls buffer. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you ice cold, dude. Hey, I'll catch you later. Peace, homie. Management issues. I really hope you don't damage the car. <laughs> Not like it matters much. Now this drive is why I wanted a bike. Just much easier to take like a random crap car. Yeah, there's this car we need to steal, uh, but you can't damage it. Uh, but thankfully, there's this glitch, kind of, we don't know in this game. If you get in the passenger side door and leave the door open as you get in, you kind of sit on the AI that's trying to get out. You're like far getting in too fast for him, uh, and he kind of just dies. <laughs> yeah. So you're supposed to like steal this car from him, and then he shoots you and damages the car and stuff. Um, but you just kind of kill him by sitting on him or something. Oh, he, he can't take rejection by Will Smith, so he dies. <laughs> 
something you don't want to do on 555, but that's in like several hours, well, oh, hey. an hour and so. Chat likes uh, K Rose. I love in like an hour's time. Alright, so now we're supposed to go to the pier to dump the car, but you can actually dump it in any body of water you can find that's uh, like, like deep enough to destroy the car. Yeah. yeah, there's a small like river around here. Yeah, you need to Canal take this. Something. You need to take this little weird route to like lose the AIs that are chasing you. If yeah. you do this too slowly, they like find you and they come try to kill you after you do this. Yeah. I'm going to land on the pier. <laughs> Yeah, shouts to that guy that uh, can't swim and lets you know when you're kidnapping him. Mm. Convenient. Oh, hey. Shoutouts to a bike. Yeah. Hmm, mm, nice bike. It's the worst bike in the game, but... Hey, take it. <laughs> so now I'm waiting for a phone call. Yeah, you have to answer two of them here. So we just stop like really early. Ring, ring. Yeah, in Los Santos, phone calls always take 20 seconds to come in. Uh, $25 anonymous donation. Loving this run in Josh's commentary. Keep up the great work, everybody. And a $5 anonymous donation. Watching with my best friend's girl, and we really have fun. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, hey, police car. So you need to... Uh, getting in a police car in this game... Uh, gives you a shotgun, and we need that later. So that police car that spawns there every time, uh, you just get in it and get out if you have a faster vehicle, which you do. Or in this case, a vehicle that gives the AI less accuracy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Not really convinced that uh, this is faster than a police car. Yeah, well, it's harder to hit stuff when you're on a bike, so that's nice. Uh, now we're gonna go get a girlfriend by burning her house down. <laughs> well, it's not her house, it's a house she's staying at. Uh, yeah, you set it on fire and then you rescue her from it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you're the, the great hero at the end of the day. <laughs> Yo. Hey. Oh. What? Do I remember right that you can do this mission with sniper rounds? It's like any projectile that enters the... Any like you know non-hit scan projectile that enters the hitbox of the window that breaks it. Never tried it actually. I think the sniper bullet's too far. It's something like that. You can use a rocket launcher and whatnot. Mm. Anyway, here's the shotgun. Uh, we're gonna slide with it. It's a pretty good weapon for sliding, and it has some other properties as well, which you use later. Like shooting people with? No, but. <laughs> Yeah, here's Denise. Got to get her through this burning house. Yeah, her pathfinding can be pretty uh, questionable. So yeah. hopefully that's not the case here. Oh, we get to admire uh, Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you do uh, that in uh, barrel roll flight school. <laughs> I believe you can do it. Look at that lip sync, sick. <laughs> oh, that shoe's oh, yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So once she gets past the yellow chair in that room, you can uh, walk out. And then take the voodoo, voodoo and drive her home. Oh, hey, fire truck. Could have used those earlier. Yeah. yeah. I like to live dangerously. You're CJ, right? Yeah, how you know me? Everybody in the Grove knows you and your brother. This is my place here. So you, uh, you spin the car around to both get Denise closer to, the, to her door and uh, face the right way for the next mission. It's everyone's favorite mission coming up. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like thinking, like, what? <laughs> Are you going to do uh, 420 YOLO strats? Oh, yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this next mission is the... Uh, Follow the tracks mission. I forget the name of it. Wrong side of the tracks. Wrong side of the tracks. There Wrong side of the dog face. Wrong side of the dog face. No Shout space. out to Frank Azed. Mm. Uh, 
So yeah, well, there's, there's a lot of ways you can do this mission. None of them involve driving alongside the train and letting smoke do the work, because he's useless, as most people know. There you go, dog faces. So Omega's going to do the best strat. Uh, I really hope he gets it. <laughs> sure. Hey! Oh, it doesn't quite oh, work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, okay. Well, uh, well right. he's still got the jump. So. Oh, you can do the other. You can show the other one. It's fine. <laughs> Get there quick enough. Hmm. All right, well, there you <laughs> go. Yeah. Yeah, there's another one where you can like drive backwards and just like run them all over from that platform there. Yeah, there's so many ways of doing that mission. Yeah. We have a uh, we have a four dollar donation from Bones the Third. I have several questions. Mh, when are taxi boosts? Josh, when is Royal Flash? <laughs> Omega, how are you good at this? EF, <laughs> when is SAPB? And I can actually answer the Royal Flash one. It just got met. So we are doing it later in this run. Mm. Good job, guys. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're going to do Royal Flash until we get it. So uh, <laughs> yeah. ESA is going to never end. <laughs> <laughs> Taxi boost never, by the way. Ugh. I'm no stunter. I thought my question. It was uh, something about Royal Flush, I think. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> I got an easy one. Yeah. All right. Uh, do we ever find out if these guys have bigger hitboxes? Because this mission's easy. You just headshot everything. And it seems easier than normal, right? Like, what was that? Like. Nice uh, duplicating dialogue. Yeah. That's my dog. Stick real close, Carl. Keep your head. Almost. <laughs> and now we have an auto scroller. Yeah. Perfect time for a donation. Ooh, yeah. and we have too many of them. So Go let's ahead. start. We have a two-dollar anonymous donation saying, "Loving ESA so far. Good luck to Omega on the four-star last Venturas run." Also, congratulations to Riley and Julia for their engagement during the marathon. Share the love like I share my wife and save those children. And we also have anonymous $2 donation saying, What headset are you guys using? The mic is great. Another $6 donation from anonymous. I will be a poor man at the end of this marathon. Another $3 anonymous donation saying, Hey, your actuary Alpha 0 0.14. Good luck from Nepal and may you encounter many us damn man. How did the courier go? Also, you forgot a tag. <laughs> Thanks, S. Uh, to answer the person's question about what headset we're using, it's an Audio Technica headset. It's a very threatening robot. Thank you, Planks from the Tech. <laughs> We got another $1 anonymous donation saying, Hey guys, I want to say a huge thank. I love the movement. Keep up the good speed runs. Also, please say hi, mom. Also, my mom is watching stream. We got a $6 donation from IDEXY. Royal Flush present, Pork Champ. Me and my daughter's husband are having a great time watching this. Also, we got a $2 anonymous donation saying, Always love watching ESA. I'm watching with my wife's husband this year, and we're having a great time. Another $2 donation from uh, Drolla. Watching with my body pillow, having a great time. We're really enjoying the run. Then we have a $5 donation from Joe Drinks Beer. Hey, get us there on time, pal. <laughs> Yeah, and TSC. And we have a $10 donation from Snowy1256. Was just about to donate the last few dollars to Royal Flush, but hey, here's some money anyway. Great run, great commentary. Thank you everyone so much for donating. Also, Joe, where the hell are you? Hey, Joe. We got another $2 from Anonymous. 
Sadly, I'm missing the San Andreas ramp because of work. But my wife's at home watching the gentleman from next door. <laughs> Wow, if you blow those cars so quick, how did you do it, amazing? Uh, the, through the power of Michael Bay. Speaking of Michael Bay, are you going to blow up the uh, additional explosions? Of course. Uh, Omega, do you have a runner's choice? Uh, not in particular. You can go to Rydog's choice. <laughs> Alright, perfect. All right, and uh, shout out to Pipe. He's not here. He's probably not watching at the moment. But uh, he's the reason that I found the NRG in this garage, made people add it to the route. I was watching his Let's Play. Good job, Pipe. Anyway, buddy. So yeah, uh, here's the fastest land vehicle in the entire game, just in this car park. Naturally, we take it. And uh, there's some grenades on the next floor, where, which we're gonna pick up through the roof. Sick. I can never do that. How did you do that first time? <laughs> uh, easy every time. Uh, $5 anonymous donation that says, one hot coffee, please. Uh, and a uh, $1 anonymous donation that says, all you have to do is follow ESA, CJ. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, one of the longer drives in the game, uh, which is why we take the time to get the NRG 500. that ridiculous on ps2 actually this vehicle is so fast that the game can't keep up its loading so you're just driving on a void yeah <laughs> the, there's a little trick here where i'm gonna start the mission and immediately get back on the bike if the mission would start because normally that's uh, close enough for the vehicle to despawn, but if CJ's on it, then the game can't really despawn it. Yeah. Some more cutscenes. Alright, we have a $10 anonymous donation saying, I'm watching with my wife's boyfriend's son, and we're having a great time, Puck Champ. How many variations of this are there? <laughs> Well, Too many! <laughs> Someone get the uh, stat monkeys on it. And we have a $5 donation from Gelsom Laldi. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name. When is Minecraft Bingo box at Kitty? <laughs> uh, I'll submit it next year, Gail. <laughs> uh, so here's the tutorial for gang territories in this game. Uh, which is the only time we'll be doing it, thankfully. Uh, so you need to kill three of the enemy gang members on foot, and you poke a gang war, and then you have like three waves of enemies uh, that you need to kill. And I'm also aware I can't pronounce that word before anyone says it. <laughs> so oh, yeah, you stand in a certain spot to make them spawn in a certain way, and then just chuck grenades at them, and yeah, nice cops. So if you like keep an eye on the map, you can see like the uh, purple squares. I almost said triangles in. There you go. That's the second wave. So it's just one more to do. Mm. Of course, that one guy just doesn't cross the road with the rest. All right, now you pick up the ammo. You're gonna get armor. Hey, good. And. This is like a 45 second cutscene. Yeah. Unskippable! Donations, go. Or just run some ads. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Dosh. <laughs> we have a $10 donation from Kitty Mas. Hey. I can confirm that burning a girl's house down is how you get her. That's how you got me, right, Josh? Kappa. Mom says hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got another two dollar donation from Noir XTX. Yo, when's Nep Nep? Hmm. And we got another um, 
Five dollar donation from Anonymous. Have been watching with my wife's girlfriend, having a great time. <laughs> All right, so you just throw a grenade at that guy as well and just finish him off, and that's the end of the mission. Yeah, so uh, if anyone's ever paid attention to the story of this game, they'll know that this mission makes absolutely no sense. Uh, and it's because they actually just mashed uh, one cut one cut mission and like a mission that was in the game, just mashed them together. Uh, it makes no sense at all. Like, how did Ten Penny set him up? Like, what? It's supposed to be like, he's getting like arrested and stuff. Um, for having coke and like police are arresting him and then he says ten penny set me up which makes more sense and I just parked the bike again in a specific spot to avoid it despawning hey banshees are spawning it's almost like it's because of the mission keep telling people this no one believes me So yeah, the uh, NRG is also useful for this mission quite a lot, which is why we've kept it this entire time. Yeah, there are no really real convenient way to get here. Yeah, and you can also like you know use it. In the hey, fun fact: that marker makes your vehicle fireproof and explosion. And explosion proof. proof. So uh, this here is a nice warehouse. It'd be a uh, shame if someone were to drive a motorcycle through <laughs> it. Uh, no pop tire too. Is it? So again, we're going to abuse the uh, if you're going fast enough, you instantly kill AI thing to instantly kill that AI. Yeah, he has a lot of armor, so it would take a lot of shots to take him down with a gun. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you just headshot him? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried? <laughs> yeah, apparently not. Yeah. Alright, and continuing to use the mighty NRG. Oh, that was weird. Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> Zane Stumpers. When you see a packer, you gotta take it. You have to. Yeah, like for real. And uh, storing the NRG for later. We really like that bike. That'll be used in like a few hours from now. Alright, so this mission, Sweet wants to get in the car and you're supposed to drive him to a place. Uh, but you can just point the gun at him and he puts his hands in the end, doesn't get in. You have to do it twice though. Uh, and this car is normally locked, so you take the door that they left open for Sweet. And then uh, Sweet's just talking to us even though he walked away back there. Yeah. Yeah, normally in this mission you have to wait until Sweet closes his door, otherwise. Your door will never open. Yeah. You just have to blow up the car to fail the mission. And uh, the car is still locked as well. So, Make so sure yeah. you don't jump out by accident. So yeah, if I close the door, I can't get back in. Yeah. We have a $3 anonymous donation saying, Hey guys, great event. Please name Zelda in LTTP the name of my girlfriend's husband. Bonus meme, Brother Manville. Well, this is the first time it's rained in this game. Yep. Yeah, rain is on a cycle. So uh, I guess you're getting rain here because of the whole flat top stuff mm. at the start. Yeah. Next turning, a bit harder. Yeah, just a little like, bit. Dri it's like driving on ice. This is it. Try going on grass while it's raining. Mm. Yeah. Some real fun. Down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have so a $5 anonymous donation. Watching the run with my dad's dog. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you knew better than that. Come on. We have a $5 donation from Asaru Kusu. Watch you with my left hand's best friend. Be glad you don't have to do that stupid RC plane CJ, mission. CJ, you take care of Kane. You guys take care of these other marks. Yeah, so uh, Sweet took a taxi here or something. Yep. This isn't classic percent anymore. And uh, yeah, again, the car is mightier than the gun, apparently. Just run people over. Yeah. I never actually noticed that coffin that doesn't have like a grave over it. Yeah, 
doors locked until Sweet gets in again. Rockstar are good programmers. Here's another bit that's had many, many driving routes. I always forget which one is the correct one. Yeah, I, it's I guess, this one. Yeah, I, I guess, yeah. I haven't been told otherwise. It's the latest one, I think. Also, yeah, there's a respawning re RNG. So much RNG. Fucking RNG. Ruining my 112 LS. So I'm actually a bit on a timer for this mission because I need to start home base next and I can only start that mission between noon and 8 p.m. So if you're slow uh, during the uh, meet of Los Santos, then you can't really make this cycle. Yeah. It's not that big a deal because it just saves some running time. Oops, sorry. Yeah, we've been for a few missions that are like, time sensitive already. But the, uh, the route works out. How the hell did you make life so beach even though we did find out? Uh, too fast. <laughs> Just proves that it's easy peasy. Shut up. You can't stop me. We got a free dollar donation from Bones the Third. Also, Who's right dog? Now, right back. That's right back. That's right back. one great guy. But I don't see him at the event. <laughs> that Monday, two thirty, PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you guys ever heard of PewDiePie? Yeah, it's a great game. I can recommend it. So uh, here's the other use for the shotgun. It's also extremely stealthy, uh, despite <laughs> the fact that you what? Uh, what? Maybe not. Did I get the bug? Yeah, I got the bug, oh. where the noise, noise meter feels instantly. Wow. Good game. <laughs> Never seen that one before myself, to be honest. I've got it once before. Oh. Well, that's your marathon luck. Yeah. Uh, I mean, at least it wasn't the boxes that were in random places that one time. That made sense. Uh. So, how do I fix this? Are you at the right time of day? No. Save? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Just stick to the route and save, I guess. Yeah. It's that's annoying. That's never happened to me. I've never seen that. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's happened to me once in the th <laughs> over three years I've ran this game. Yeah. It's coming up four years, actually. Okay. Hey, someone in the chat says, enable FPS limits. Yeah. Yes, teach us about the frame rate of this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are still pointing out that I'm not on camera. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm hiding in the corner. Hey Gail, are you brave? Do you want to touch that camera? <laughs> <laughs> no. I guess this is safe to save. Not that I should need one. Yeah. Uh, I heard William the Wild is back in town. MH. Mm. Check your wallet. Omega. Wheelman face. <laughs> <laughs> Two dollars from Pitbull, thank you. William. Wild <laughs> Willie. <laughs> What are these driver memes? No. That's not a driver meme, that's oh. Jones. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. Jones! Yeah, you didn't play it last year. Oh. Nerd. Shame on you. Too busy playing uh, board games. Yeah, man, that's where it's at. Maybe I'll join in on that this year. Can I do the mission properly this time? Well, if, will it fuck you over this time? We'll see. Stop reading chat. Concentrate. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh. Well, we had twenty dollar donation from Anonymous. Watch me with my granny's cousin's dog, and we're really having fun. Keep up the good work. We also got a ten dollar donation from Anonymous. Hey guys, what you with my boss, wife's, girlfriend's dogs, owners, aunts, gardeners, mothers, boyfriends, dads, niece, nephews, caretaker, grandmothers, cousin, twice removed son, and really enjoying this run. Keep up the great work. 
I wonder if that actually works. Like, we should actually take a look at that. <laughs> See if it makes sense. It's probably like a family tree that goes out and then loops back around. <laughs> yeah. Something. Yeah, that's what normally happens in this mini Yeah, mission. just slide around everywhere with a shotgun silently and then slide with the boxes, which is actually pretty difficult. You need to uh, be really quick with the sli sliding inputs. Uh, $2 from Cult of Wilson. Watching with my beloved and faithful wife. Here's to great runs and secure relationships. Yes, duping. We have five dollars from Tuna Brain. Thanks for the great event. Watching this at home with Counter Pillow's wife, <laughs> having a great time. <laughs> Got him. <'em>. Got him. <laughs> oh dear. More unskippable cutscenes. Gotta love those. Mm. Did you know you could do burglaries at night? No, I damn. I always try to try do the, doing them at day. <laughs> this was in this one isn't too long, fortunately. Just think about what I see. Hey, that's decent. Uh, okay. No witnesses. The traffic. I hope you're listening because that's why we played that music. You can also check out that side of it. You know what I mean? Don't be crazy out there. Just be cool. So, uh, here's more grenades. This mission is actually really fun. It's just, uh, you shoot people and then you move on to the next bit and then shoot people, but you can do it really, really quickly. Yeah, with well placed grenades. Mm. Here we go, this is the best bit. Yeah. And a one. And a two. And a three. And then that guy. And then these guys hiding in the bushes. Stealthy. Oh, you missed that. What's going on here, dude? They just didn't move forwards. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Whatever. Shout out to the uh, IL leaderboards. This one was a fun one to constantly verify every five minutes. Shout out to ILs in general. <laughs> yeah, if you want to run this game, you can pick one mission and just run that over and over again and make me check it every time. <laughs> or just do one that no one's ever done before and you get free world Free world record, record man. Yeah. All for yourself. It's a world record. <laughs> you can be the fastest that wear flowers in your hair or something. <laughs> wow, what a big deal. You can be fastest at trucking eight. <laughs> trucking eight, yeah. Don't give me a hard time about my driving. I ain't got the energy for it, man. Well, don't go roll the damn car over and blow us all up in flames then. Is this a challenge, Josh? Yeah, go for it, Pippo. How many, uh, how many IELTS do I have to verify, actually? So like we have a $5 anonymous donation. I'm watching the guy with his wife and her boyfriend. They are having a great time. Okay, cool. Joel, he's been verifying things. Yeah, you can't... Uh, that green wood, you can't blow up immediately. Otherwise, you softlock the mission. This is a fun mini game, right? Look how challenging this is. Yeah. I mean, maybe on console with like analogs. This was so hard. I couldn't do it on PS2 when I was like two months old. Oh, did you move the? Okay, CJ. <laughs> Just sell my lap. <laughs> you mind me resting my hand in your lap? <laughs> maybe.
but now you can't see Omega's hands on the camera. How can you verify he's playing? Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe he's cheating there. I'll move the camera further Don't expose away. Expose me. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. What are you doing? We have a ten dollar donation from Calf Sneak. Been watching with my girlfriend's wife. We're really enjoying the run. That one was done already, come on. We have another $10 from Anonymous. Thanks for the event. Thank you for watching. We also have another $10 donation from Anonymous. Great game, great runners, keep it up. Oh, oh mystery man. <laughs> I'm now visible. <laughs> oh, it's Adam AK, what? <laughs> the man got a face? <laughs> yeah. There's a monitor in my way though, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we have a one dollar donation from Cyber Runner. Watching with my daughter. Greetings from Alabama. Keep up the good work, y'all. KK Ona. Kuna. We have a one dollar donation from Anonymous. Hello, it's Sun. Who's my father? Not like this. Brother, and now I lost my Whoa, don't yeah, so yeah, you're driving a tall vehicle very fast, and the center of gravity is pretty good. So, uh, flipping, flipping is fun. This is probably my least favorite mission in Los Santos. But the top of the forklift, man. I'm terrible at it. But the chat, their mind's gonna get blown when we get there. Is it? Yeah, some people, man, they play this game. This mission is actually really hard casually. Maybe not for you, but normal people. Mind if normal. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, destroy that switch through the wall with the knife. Nice job, CJ. And then uh, shoot cool. this guy, and then shoot that switch. Nice. So yeah, here's a forklift, and here's some boxes. Uh, and Mega's gonna pick up two at the same time. Revolutionary. <laughs> yeah, you have to like, get a little gap in between the the van to get it in. Thousands of years of re research went, in, went into this. <laughs> oh, I'm lucky. Alright, alright, this is one more. The well, next one's a really hard one though. Just hope Ryder doesn't die. He's fine, he's fine. Crawling up the woodwork. Nice upside down crate. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. So yeah, these ones are not perfectly aligned next to each other, so it's actually you have to do this at a really weird angle. Oh. Oh, oh well. You showed it once. Average contract. Come on, CJ. We got enough. CJ, get up front, drive us out of here. Stop. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he really didn't want to stop you that hard. He, he stopped to admire Will Smith. So, oh my God, is that Will Smith? Hey, yeah, uh, yeah, you can go through. Yeah. <laughs> famous. You gonna drive over that packer? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Uh, yeah, so there's a couple army guys in Patriots following you. Uh, so you need to get this corner right or they'll flip you. Nice. Oh, there they go. <laughs> yeah. Flipping myself. <laughs> oh. There you, there you go. Why don't you just drive straight through it, what? Uh, magic. Probably on two wheels. Yeah, I guess. You need to be flat to hit those markers. Wow, nice cars. Oh, you like this car, don't you? Oh, hey, the tow truck. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. That's pretty rare in Los Santos. Uh, not in Ocean Dogs. <laughs> yes. You <just> <laughs> <laughs> mind your own business. 
JP's got your back. It's the We got a uh, five dollar donation from Matthew Vin. Uh, sorry, my English is not good. Thanks for the stream. Enjoying watching this lot with my friend Hagrid. No problem, man. Thank you for watching. Yeah, chill. So this is a fun mission. Are you gonna YOLO? You have a little bit of armor, you'll be alright. So yeah, this is another indoor mission, so we're sliding. Uh, unfortunately, you can't shoot with the shotgun and slide at the same time with this shotgun skill. So we're just gonna bump into people and hope they don't shoot us too much. Yeah, you could get this break hand from like the roof of some building near CJ's house, but that wastes time, so... Basically just a pussy strat. Pretty good. Now are you gonna pause buffer the grenade? No. Casual strat. So this cutscene here, uh, it spawns a helicopter. If you skip this cutscene, the helicopter is in a different spot. Uh, we need it to be there so you can hit it with a grenade. So you have to actually watch that cutscene. This run is no longer SDA submittable. Oh yeah, and just jump into a trigger. Alright, then this is an auto-scroller, during which I get given an AK-47 with unlimited ammo, which is convenient. Yes. Don't explain it, just let chat be confused a bit. Are you ready for some donations? Yes. Alright then, we have two dollars from Ananase. I'm once again sorry if I pronounce this wrong. Sitting here watching as my cat's pet, really loving the run so far. Another $5 donation from Anonymous. Greetings from Saudi Arabia, watching with my seven wives having a great time. <laughs> we have another $1 donation from Anonymous. Hey guys, been watching with my wife's pigeon, we're having lots of fun. Another $3 donation from Anonymous. Hey, I'm watching this with Officer Tim Penny's husband, and we're having a great time. Hearts. Another two dollar donation from Anonymous. Greetings from Germany. Please, please pay the debts. And then we have another twenty dollar donation from Anonymous with no comment, but thank you very much for the donation. Another ten dollar donation from Anonymous. Watching this with my dog's girlfriend. Best of luck to Omega. And Josh, you're cute. Okay. Thank you. Another $5 donation from Anonymous. Hey guys, PewDiePie here, watching from the Battle Space Base. When are you coming to save the gamers, right, dog? Bro, fiest. 2 30 on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Second stream. Another $3 donation from Anonymous. Watching with my anime body pillow. Yes. Come is so fucking good. <laughs> Alright, so that uh, cop there jumps on the car, but you can shoot him. And if he uh, punches you, he actually uh, damages you a little bit. Curious, have you ever died to that cop? Yes. And uh, in this mission, uh, this car doesn't actually have a sunroof or anything. But what's actually happening is CJ is stood inside the roof, just shooting the AK, and you just spin on the spot. OLED fences? Yeah, we found that out because I died to that cop and there was like one frame where you could see CJ stood there. Can you explain the AK thing now for you? Oh, uh, the AK thing? Oh yeah, yeah, he's shooting this car to train AK skill. Yeah, get to Hitman level and then he can shoot while sliding, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah, that's later really missions. important. Yeah. And that there was a beta cop? Oh the... yeah, yeah, when he... um. When he turns into bits, and then the cop gets mashed up by the helicopter. He, ha he has like the old texture for the cops. He's like all blue instead of black. It's weird. Shit, that's gonna be a hell of a story to tell when we pass in the blunt. Damn, that was some serious shit. Whew. Fuck this. We gotta get out of here. Right is right. Everybody split up. We'll meet up later. And. 
RNG? I don't have cop car. Uh, is um, that cop in the back? What the? <laughs> okay. Maybe he's a road cop being arrested. <laughs> I'll take that, Hernandez. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, Not that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is drugs. <laughs> there you go. Going through hell and high waters to get this police bike. <laughs> Shouldn't these spawn if I leave it here, right? Mm, I don't know. I mean, I only use it for this mission. Yeah, so this is the final mission of Los Santos. Uh, <laughs> it was there. Just uh, don't get busted. Okay. <laughs> you didn't even honk, you madman. <laughs> Easy every time. <laughs> so yeah, we need to go rescue Sweet from a, a parking lot. Parking lot, I'm turning American. <laughs> Car park. Parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> All the Swedish people here use American English and it's confusing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's proper. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that's good <laughs> for you, yeah. We have a $10 donation from Anonymous. Watching this with my fathers, brothers, nephews, cousins, former roommate. Good luck with the run. Shout out to Spaceballs. What? It's the movie it's from. So oh, health. it's a reference, I think. So yeah, just a quick little cutscene inside that car and then switch back to the bike. We got a $1 donation from Anonymous. Hey guys, I'm watching this by myself. Keep up the great work. Whoa, okay. Just a casual double hit. Yeah. Like one wasn't enough. Flip the van. Alright. Hey. <laughs> yeah, if you shoot that van, it like has like no weight or something, and it like flips over because of the bullets. And then it blocks you, awesome. <laughs> uh, almost. Blow your head off. <laughs> Do you regret flipping the van? <laughs> no. Oh. You're getting so unlucky, man. Hey, at last. And that's the end of Los Santos. <laughs> GG. Los Santos percent. <laughs> Los Santos percent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you mean there's a game after this? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Yeah, it always runs up to LS. It's like, who even does the rest of the game? I mean, CJ goes to jail, and mm. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the end of the game, right? So yeah, welcome to the Badlands. Uh, I hope you like hunt country music. Yeah, and rednecks in general. And K Rose. Oh yeah. Nobody gets too far like that. We have fifty dollar donation from Anonymous. Long time watcher of my friend and her boyfriend. Also, it's my first donation. We have a $1 donation from Dubsis. Watching while I claim the right hand any percent world record. Good luck. So yeah, just casually driving the Sanchez up a mountain. Yeah, there's a guy we need to kill and take a picture of. Yeah. Do you have store photos on? Should be. Maybe. So yeah, you just run this guy over, he flies up in the air and you take his gun. Wow, that was incredibly fast. And then, uh, we do uh, a cool drop, right? Totally the YOLO jump. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Please yeah. do YOLO jump. <laughs> That's like a jump you can do. You just jump off a mountain, but it's like a 
I don't know, 90% chance or whatever that it you. So uh, Omega's doing the faster and safer strats. Casual. <laughs> we have a one dollar donation from Sand 2639 one. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cars here. Save this money for my 50 flannel shirt challenge. Enjoy. Donation goes to Reader's Choice. Just uh, swapping Sanchez because this one has more health. Well, the other one was knocked down. Yeah, yeah. Nice weather. Yeah. And for those of you that wonder what our reader's choice are right now, everything we want to donate right now is for the I Wanna Be Co-op by BBF and his partner in crime for an extra stage in that game. And that run is in after Trackmania, which is after this run. Oh, well, this is what Badlands is gonna be like, pretty much. Uh, yeah, Should long drives, long yeah. drives through forests, busted the warps and death warps too. Oh yeah, to shorten the long drives a little bit. Oh, you ruined the suspense. He was gonna get busted. The chat was gonna be like, oh no, oh no, run over. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, if you get busted or killed in this game, it like teleports you to the nearest like police station or hospital. Yeah, that's a pretty good spawn. Uh, so we're going to use that to teleport to where we need to go. We don't have any guns anyway that we need, so just uh, just get busted and teleport all the way to Angel Pine. Billy Moore. Damn it. Hey, streamer, why did you get busted? <laughs> we need to answer a bunch of phone calls. Uh, hello, <laughs> friend. <laughs> Why does that keep happening to you? They're supposed to stop. <laughs> Where's your car? Well, hey, cool. cop. Yeah. I mean, that's good. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I'm just gonna kill this cop for his gun. Yeah, otherwise he would have gone inside the police station to get one. Yeah. Which is slow. And it's riskier, you get three stars. Yeah. Two. Two. Alright, pause buffering coming, so flashing screens. <laughs> Just repeated it. <laughs> there you yeah. go. I skipped some dialogue. Shout out to Max Payne. I'm a man of Shout out to smacking Catalina. <laughs> yeah, you have to hit her there right while she tries to get in the truck and you can run her over. This guy will hopefully hit the uh, tree. Hopefully. These like some big trees, yeah. Well, in America, everything's bigger. Are you gonna do some insane stunts here? That's up to the game. Yeah, we'll see. The, uh, the game is really weird with, like, towing physics with both the tow truck and real trucks. And sometimes funky things can happen. We'll see. And if you, like, detach the trailer in this mission, you just outfight the mission. Yeah. There are some crazy clips of like people like spinning the truck around, not failing and stuff. Like Omega has a good one. 720 no scope marker hit. <laughs> okay. Boring. Yeah. I would rather not fail too many missions. Yeah, we won't have time for Royal Flush. <laughs> oh, that's good. CJ, bang. <laughs> Decides to get one eventually. There's nothing bigger. Kilimanjaro, the close shop for So I'm gonna drive to the... Celebrating no as diet day. Fat liberation like, is just here. within range of the uh, Angel Pine Hospital. So when I die, I get teleported there. Yeah, that's why we picked up the police hand. Just to blow up the car and kill ourselves. We have a one dollar donation from Pete the player. Oh, hey Pete. MH, who are you rooming with this time around? Uh, are the demonic noises and scream back as well? Um, to answer the second question, I don't know. And I guess I'm rooming with several hundred people in the mass housing. Um, I don't know who they are, except for a few. But <laughs> Being a bite. I love this bike. 
it's really not that interesting. We have a five dollar donation from Dowlin21. Hey guys, great marathon so far. I'm watching this alone, but I'm having a great time anyway. Yeah, so this mission's kinda weird with like bikes and stuff. It's like there's guys with guns that are shooting at you, so it's like, oh I want to use a bike instead of a car to make their accuracy less. Um, but you also want to take a little bit of damage in this mission, so you can uh, instantly kill yourself with one explosion at the end. Uh, so sometimes you can either get killed a lot or not killed enough. So hopefully we're in the middle, as we should be. Oh, there are officers fighting the good fight. Don't mind me just riding past on a million miles an hour. So you're gonna run over this guy here to take his uh, take his rifle. Kinda get uh, wedged in the fence. <laughs> oh, nice. Ow. Oh, there's the one shot we need. Ow. Okay, that's too many. Okay, it's fine. Oh, okay, good. So yeah, that's fine. It, uh, a couple more hits and he would have died. Sometimes that guy just like pew pew pews you and you die instantly. And sometimes the guy that gets out of the harvester can shoot you as well, and that's pretty rare. Or they just don't shoot you at all, and you have to hope there's fire <laughs> yeah. with the the thing that you blow up. Yeah, that's that's the other way, <laughs> other yeah. option. So you gotta do the uh, yellow drop. It's not even faster, <laughs> but it's so much cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I have concerns. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. I, I wouldn't blame you for not doing it. Yeah, there's like a hill there you can jump off of to go down here. Uh, but if the harvester flips over, you can't unflip it very easily. So this is faster and safer. It's not faster if you do that. Well... Well... Hey. Uh, see, maybe I should have gone for the Aola the jump. Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> maybe this is so uh, eligible. Are you I mean, really going to try and push it? I mean, it's not upside down. <laughs> into the fence, into the fence. Just hit the fence. Come on, come on, come, come on, on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh. Into, the, into the hill, into the hill. <laughs> the other tree. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, oh. it's gonna blow up. Which means I can death warp again. Yeah, <laughs> just rip. <laughs> All right, well, second try. <laughs> yeah, that harvester is a real nightmare. They're trying to find a fast way down that hill without flipping is really dumb. At least you got a Sanchez there, that's pretty good. Oh, and trip skip. Whoa. Later that day. So, uh, have you memorized what weather pattern you're on, Omega? <laughs> I mean, it time of the day shouldn't change it. It's gonna be off anyway. All right, well, here we go again. I bet this time they're going to not hit you at all. <laughs> Would be typical. Uh, we got a $5 anonymous donation that says, watching. That's literally everything that stands there. That can't be. Let me have another look. Oh, there's something new. Watching with my favorite raven. Ka ka. And another $2 donation that says, hey, fellas, watching the stream with insert joke here. And wondering how I've managed to miss the previous events. This is good stuff. Keep on keeping on. Uh, One dollar donation from Anonymous that says, Hello Twitch chat. This is Josh's mother speaking. Please stop the spam in the chat. I can't read the amazing conversation that you are having about my son. Thanks. Don't copy and paste this and spam more or I will tell Josh to ban you all. <laughs> I don't think that's my mom, guys. Uh, so yeah, as predicted, Omega didn't get shot at all here, so he has full health. <laughs> this game, man, just hates you. Oh, hey, nice fly, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> fly, RNG. <laughs> all right, don't hit that tree. Okay. Okay. There you go. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Wheelman face. <laughs> Too bad I can't pull the, pull the shirt over my face. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on here, dude? <laughs> Nothing going on over here, dude. Yeah. He puts on a I mean, <clears throat> first try. 
So yeah, we're gonna have to pray that there's fire here so we can dance in it to take the rest of the damage. I think there usually is anyway. Just have to wait a little bit. Yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> you were worrying me. <laughs> okay. And they finally typed it out. Look. Another Sanchez, you're just getting really lucky with these bikes. You're like the roller coaster of RNG. <laughs> it's like typical marathon. Yeah. <laughs> typical marathon, yeah. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> nice jump. <laughs> Intended. So yeah, another really long drive on a Sanchez through the forest. At least we have K Rose. Yeah, so we're just gonna go uh, hopefully get busted again. Same place. You have to like, it's when you drive over this bridge up here, and then you're close enough. Yeah, I think the bridge like is the border yeah. on this road between the two busted warp zones. Yeah. Are we driving all the way? <laughs> no. oh, okay, good. Uh, this traffic. There you go. Another one for good measure. <laughs> Found it a little close. I had it all figured out. I <laughs> don't think the Hermes can go fast enough at that, like, Fast enough that fast to make it blow up. Oh, well, you never know. Do you want to find out? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Want me to go back? No. <laughs> yes. Did everyone miss Catalina already? It's a shame you have to skip these cutscenes. How was it? The liquor store in Blueberry, or the betting shop in Montgomery. Okay, what is you do here? So yeah, you give her. This is like a non-linear part. It's like you're given four missions to do. We've already done one, uh, and uh, I we used to do just the closest missions first because there wasn't didn't matter what order you did them in. Uh, until one time, I did this wrong because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, and we actually found out it was faster because the cutscene at the end was different for one of them. So now you drive all the way to the bank first. And you just uh, instantly fail the mission by yeah. shooting the guy as quick as possible. Like, it happens anyway. Like, you can't keep their hands up because they go faster and faster. Mm -hmm. I think it eventually becomes fast enough that even if you had a Taz, it wouldn't be able to keep up. And that's something I'd like to see, how long can a Taz keep that going? <laughs> Maybe like a minute or something? Yeah. So yeah, we just, uh, Catalina gets stuck shooting these cops, so you shoot all the ones that are, like, gonna be a problem for her. You know, the scripted ones. Yeah. And then, uh, while we wait for Catalina to run to the end, we're gonna go shopping. What are you gonna buy, Amina? Some new shoes? Oh no, guns, of course. We're in America, of course. <laughs> need some, needs me a rifle and some uh, body armor. It is my second can, right. can never be too careful with Catalina. I just want to take this moment real quick to give a shout out to the next game, which is Trackmania 2 Stadium. That one currently has a bit more going on about which country car the runner is going to use. So if you want to be, take a part of that and make some change, then go straight ahead and donate.
The game wants us to follow Catalina, but uh, yeah, don't need to do that. Yeah, she goes over a unique stun jump, which puts the game in slow motion. Uh, whoa, and that bridge, yeah, that happens. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, you don't want to go in slow motion because speed. So we go this way. It's also just quicker. Yeah, she like rubber bands. So uh, if you're ahead of her, she's going to go faster too. Can we uh, position carefully. Oh, do, do you know what that is? That shadow thing under there? I see them everywhere. I just, uh, <laughs> what? What is happening? Okay, just <laughs> fell over. The best is when she says, like, idiot, that girl, idiot, and then, and then she says, hey, I'm in love, girl. Different. Shame, such a shame we have to skip that cutscene. <laughs> Chat would really enjoy it. need the money. Just you need the money. need the money. Whoa. need the driving skill. <laughs> or bike skill, rather. Got a fishing license instead. <laughs> yeah. We have a $30 donation from Planks. Donating for Josh to say, oh hey, thanks, for every donation during this run. Oh hey, thanks. <laughs> one of many. <laughs> no one in the chat is going to get that. <laughs> well, some of them might. So, uh, yeah, here's some sick snipes happening. Oh. I think I got them all. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah, I got him. I have a puck tire though, somehow. How? Well, I haven't seen that one before. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's the rear tire as well, which is the worst. So yeah, you can get tires popped in this game, obviously. Uh, and depending on which tire it is, it does different things. Uh, on a bike, the rear one is the worst one to have, because like, look how uncontrollable this is. Yeah, like usually I think, at least in VC, like probably in this game too, if the rear tire is popped on a bike, I just pop the front one on purpose to make it like more <laughs> controllable. <laughs> yeah, if the front one's popped, it's like you can't turn, it's like understeers. <laughs> at least it doesn't spin around all yeah, the Yeah, it's like, you don't want un <laughs> Yeah. There you go, try it. <laughs> we'll find out if it works in this game. Yeah. Apparently so. But you gotta calm down. Yeah. There you go. Cold -blooded cats wouldn't act like you. New strats. We have fifteen dollars from Anonymous. Good to see a Finnish runner at the ESA. Go, Omega, go! I'm trying. <laughs> also the bike slid all the way over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, she can pass it. Nice. We have a $5 donation from Anonymous. Save the children, boys. Kappa, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, hey, thanks. Cool. Maybe you won't go berserk, huh? Oh, I go berserk. Oh, well, that's a relief to hear. All right, last Kalina mission. And then we just get hilarious phone calls from her instead of seeing her. Hilarious, useful phone calls too. You want to rob a betting shop? So, uh, shout out to door hitboxes. Open the back room door, or I blow your fucking face off. Leave the oh, also, uh, shout out to sound of alarm going off. <laughs> Yeah, that subtitle is there, even if you have subtitles turned off. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, so you just throw the satchel through the door and hit the safe inside. And then it blows up. <laughs> okay, I got it. Shout out to Catalina Dialogue, too. Whatever, let's roll. Get in the car. Get in the fucking car. The fucking car, yeah. <laughs> Let me pick up the satchels there, because we need them later. And you don't want to run anybody over here. 
Yeah, you're, um, you need to lose the wanted levels. Uh, instead of using a pain spray, though, we're going to use bribe stars. Um, yeah, and lose one of them by, like, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, like that. Because you're in the countryside, you uh, lose wanted stars twice as fast as in a city. Uh, so you can lose the fourth star there, uh, and then there's two bribe stars, and then the last one goes away on its own before you reach the end of the mission. It's a lot faster than driving all the way to the pain spray. It's like over a river, it's awful. Also, Catalina can sometimes hit the gas tanks of these police cars and blow them up while they're right next to you. Yeah, that's, uh, that's also annoying. Because she has like a desert eagle. Yeah, AIs in cars of desert eagle have the incorrect uh, firing rate. So they're like absolutely insane with it. Yeah. I've seen worse, but you did all right. And that's the end of Catalina. Hey, these next two missions are fun, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know what this driving through the countryside we've been doing? Uh, we get to do a race of it, and then we get to do that race in reverse. With a different car. With a different car, yeah. yeah. A forced car. Are you in the marker there? Close. Yeah. No. Never. That was optimal. Alright, so this race is actually a bit scary at the start. Uh, it's scary all the time if you flip, but right here you're like right next to a river. Uh, and cars don't like water, obviously. So you can. Sir. Yeah, okay, uh. We've got a $5 donation from Josh's favorite moderator, Soviet. First time listener, long time donator, medium time viewer here. I would like to extend my good looks to Omega and all the other runners this year. Save the children. We have a $50 donation from Anonymous. Why did the Scarecrow get promoted? Because it was, out it was outstanding in its field. Yeah, so here's the end of this race. And it's like, oh, thank God, driving is over. Um, yeah, about that. Not so fast. <laughs> so you just sit here and... Uh... Oh, hey, it's... Oh, you missed. It's uh, the other half of this race in a slightly different car. A worse car. <laughs> yeah. so this is the sort of car you would take to this environment, right? Yeah. Off-road. For bridge, like wooden bridges. Pregnant <laughs> again, just like my daddy, K Rose. It ain't easy raising nine kids, especially with all the hours I work. Kids, if you're listening, Lara Joe, you leave your sister Ellie alone. She's going through a natural transition. Like the only story pur purpose of this race is racing Catalina. We, we raced Catalina the first time, then you raced Woozy the second. That's yeah. how you get introduced to him. And then she snubs you. Oh, you 
Yeah, this, this race is against Woozy. Uh, th you, this is Claude's ZR, isn't it? I don't think so. Or it was another race's Well, the mission is called, like, Woozy Moo. I'm pretty sure you no. raised Woozy in the first mission. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Woozy's ZR. Yeah. Yeah. Do we even want the game? <laughs> Do you watch cuts? I, I have cutscene percent world record. Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> even ran it at GTA Marathon. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, maybe Hugo's bopped you in cutscene percent. Not sure, though. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Is no longer I'm gonna check. <laughs> Yeah, check his YouTube and search up cutscene percent. Make sure my volume's off first. Okay. We have a one dollar donation from Tesoro. Hey. Watching this from with my Josh M H M D. Yes, tubing. No, his cutscene percent is at eleven hours. Mine's nine. Ah, okay. Yeah, there you go. Still on top, I see. <laughs> and I had to take a uh, be ill break halfway through as well. Oh man. <laughs> that was a fun run. It was like San Andreas, but even longer, <laughs> and I was ill. Yeah. I remember how you were during the one of those 100% races. It was pretty bad. Yeah. Every GTA marathon. Oh yeah, shout outs to uh, GTA marathon. We have our own little mini marathon every year. Yeah. Nothing but GTA. Pretty sick. So uh, you guys have probably had enough of uh, countryside and driving so yeah. far. Well, well, we got to do some more. Yeah, it even like resets you a bit, so you can do a little bit more. <laughs> K Rose, because if you spend more time with farm animals, but uh, life, we're you'll have a lonely heart. almost done for it for now. Infection. There's more later, but yeah. Got a storm coming in, or so I heard. So go stand out in the fields. With He's talking about the weather on the radio. Billy Bob did, and he turned into bacon. It's a weird little feature in this game. It's like completely pointless. Like you see the fog. <laughs> Although it's interesting, they also talk about like events that's going on with the storyline. Like uh, when you uh, burn all the weed in this mission, KDST guy talks about it. Yeah. Man, driving through forests. <laughs> This is what I do in my free time. <laughs> it's all it is in Finland, right? Just yeah. forest. Is it fog in Finland all the time? Yep. Nice. Just go out on a casual rally drive. Yep. <laughs> Raytona. <laughs> it's like written literally in front of me and I misspelled it. You could have eaten an apple, I mean. Chomp, chomp. And then driving's over. Uh, what? Oh. He's gay. <laughs> well, I guess there's more driving. Yeah. Good God, man. Uh, so, satchels. Uh, what? Rifle? <laughs> Did you need, don't need the rifle, right? Yeah. You used the rifle in the mission you needed it for? I mean, if you're close enough, you may as well just do it with the flamethrower. Well, yeah, you, well you then you need to... Well, you need to yeah. dupe stuff with satchels. Yeah. yeah. They're expensive. Not for a while. No, I guess you could buy some. Man, that's really unfortunate. So yeah, like dying earlier on is okay because you don't have guns and stuff. But we had just begun to set up our weapon set. And we're gonna use it like later in the run for lots of complicated things. Um, so losing the satchels is a problem. You'll just have to do this mission casual strats and then buy them, I guess. I mean, they're pretty expensive, so it's probably better to just pick them up again somewhere. I mean, there's a there's a pickup somewhere in San Piero by the hospital anyway. Yeah, there is. Yeah.
All right, well, normally you use the satchels to blow up all the weed here, but I guess we're using the flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, you could slide it with the flamethrower. Yeah, I'm burning myself in the process. <laughs> that would be a problem, yeah. Just do firefighter. Yeah, I mean, the rain's going to put you out. So. Yeah. <laughs> Does it work like that? <laughs> if <Not> only. <laughs> hey, viewers, nice. All right, well, I guess if you have donations, now's a good time. All right, then. We got $5 from Anonymous. Really enjoying this road trip percent run. <laughs> and we got uh, $5 from Anonymous. Thank you for giving my friend a reason to exist. Have some money. We got another $5 donation from m 4 o Magio. Magion Sneaker. I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your names. My friend and I love watching GTA speedruns. Greetings from Bulgaria and good luck on the run. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we have a free dollar donation from Bones the Third. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, get Armore. <laughs> okay, thanks. We have a $5 donation from Nelson01. Hello there. Good luck to the runner GTA speedrun. Are always fun to watch. I'll double this donation if the announcer says something funny after this. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Alright, so uh, you thought the driving was over, but now we have more driving. With rain, too. Good weather. And THC in your blood. Yeah. So we have to drive the hippie van. What, what's its proper name? Uh, the mothership. Mothership. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Drive it all the way to San Fierro. We have a one hundred dollar donation from Portuguese captain. Hello, a Portuguese currently living in the states, but loves speedruns and loves charities. Had to put my money to help a great cause. Enjoying the speedrun so far. Can't wait to see more classics being destroyed. Beijos! Thank you so much for your donation. And we got a $10 anonymous donation saying, Don't worry, Omega. This anon still respects you even after that harvester debacle. I will love you forever if you let us say Abio at some point. Otherwise, thanks for an okay run so far. Abio. <laughs> oh, <Bio. laughs> all right, we're almost there now. Um, so the driving finally comes to an end, right? <laughs> oh, not yet. <laughs> oh, hey, train. nice train. <laughs> Imagine getting hit by that. Boom. We have a $15 anonymous donation saying, Greetings from the US to my brothers in Europe. Just want to say, Finland is better than Sweden in every way. Sweden, yes. Is yeah. that true, Omega? Uh, <laughs> not entirely. Okay. In trains, at least, yeah. Yeah, in trains, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I bought a Finnish flag in Helsinki, so... Oh, nice. now I'm now officially Finnish. <laughs> Alright, so... Here we are. For, whoa. Oh, the yay leaving San Fierro, right? Uh, so, yeah, we finally get to do a mission, and... Uh, hey, there's a car. Is it gonna make you drive again? <laughs> Yeah, it's, yes. a, it's another driving mission, unfortunately. This whole section is full of it. Uh, but after this, promise, things get more interesting. Uh, so yeah, this is like the, hey, you're in a new city, better make you drive around everywhere and arbitrarily show you landmarks. So we have to, like, drive around and talk about polar bears. Yeah, there's some, uh, some weirdos, I guess. This here is Vietnamese gang territory. I require weaponry though. Yeah, you're at least a pistol. I'm trying to rack my brains while like weapon spawns in Serbia. But you are gonna get the satchels, right? Uh, in Return to Los Santos, probably. Uh, we got a $60 donation from Anonymous. Hey ho. Or after SGDQ, so 500 sec is all I got to offer, Kappa. 
and a five dollar donation from anonymous saying watching this with my friend cleo a year ago i asked her to go on a date with me and she said no Come on. so she, <laughs> she said she'd rather be just be friends i started crying and ran home and since then we rarely make eye contact when we speak which is awkward because we all hang out at least two times a week So, uh, here's the hospital, Omega. Did you know that? Uh, no. I never death work here anymore. Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid. So, uh, he's gonna spin the car a little bit here. The, uh, the game rotates you, like, snaps you 90 to 180 degrees either way. Uh, we want to be pointing that way. So make sure the car's pointing a little bit that way so it, like, snaps you to the closest one. And he's gonna do the same in the next marker, hopefully. The next marker's a little bit challenging -er. challenging -er? More challenging. <laughs> Harder. Harder, yeah, there you go, there you go. Fun fact, Dwayne and Jethro are in this mission, and they also show up in the, the cutscene when you buy the boat yard in Vice City. They're like smoking weed in a boat, and they ask you for a light. <laughs> dude, you got a light. Dude. Dude. <laughs> no, dude. Hey, suit, dude. Now what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in the Uh we got a twenty dollar donation from Gail. Omega, you better not be a busta and show them who's real who's gangsta with some real duping. <laughs> As opposed to fake duping. <laughs> uh Anonymous donated five dollars saying, Oh hey, thanks. Oh hey, thanks. And Amona Anonymous donated two dollars that said, "Hey guys, humongous here, and I wish you all having a great weekend. I hope Ultima Omega will get the world record." Yeah, for, yeah, this yeah, this run, sure. yeah. Yeah, the world record is currently like seven hours, so <laughs> easy peasy. Six, twelve, fourteen <laughs> by Joshimo. <laughs> this is the world, current world record. <laughs> Six oh nine by Cannibal Kingdom. Uh, two dollar donation from Mikos that says, "I was just about to do some LS practice." Then I saw this. No practice for me today, I guess. Good luck, Omega. And it's good. You'll be able to see what the rest of the game's like. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> uh, $1 from Wayno. Hey, Omega, Josh, MH. Enjoying the run so far. Can't wait to get that quality Blood Bowl content. Tell us a bit about your time with Blood Bowl, Josh. Blood Bowl? Oh, right, yeah. There's a, there's a stadium event in this game that we're going to be using later. Uh, and it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. But thankfully, in any percent, you just use it to for the fact that it's a mission, not anything else. Don't have to complete it. Alright, time for strats. Yes. You can explain them, because I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to like push these guys a little bit. Then leave the car here, so they'll come get it later. It's important. Gonna wait for the light to turn green. The traffic lights are on a fixed cycle, so. 555, five, five, we reset. Yeah, good mission. Yeah, there are so many different unique ways of failing this mission. I asked like people that read the code and they think this, has, this mission has the most ways of any mission to fail. What is happening? Get stuck behind a pad. Uh, <laughs> this game Close. just hates you today. 25 FPS. Alright, so now I want to look in a certain direction uh, to hopefully do something. Nah, the, the camera turned. Yeah. If I would have done it, done it correctly, the DA would have spawned right there. Whatever. I didn't lose any time doing what I did. Like, Set up time, just gotta wait here. Yeah, so he was trying to manipulate the camera to. There's like three points in this mission, and if you're like looking at one of them, the game doesn't spawn the DA there. Um, so you want to look at the two slow ones, and then it just instantly, it's like the backup, like, okay, fine, just puts it there, and it's like right next to you. Um, but unfortunately, he didn't get it because the camera moved. During the fade, no less. Mm. So we have to wait for the DA. 
There used to be swimming during this mission, but now we just skip the mission that requires the uh, long uh, capacity. Yeah, yeah. If anyone's watched the uh, old ESA runs of this, we used to like yeah swim here for long capacity, but what is going not on? necessary anymore. It's a lady punching a cop. <laughs> Getting owned now. Police brutality. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is the DA? Maybe he got shot by a cop too. There Let's he is. There. Okay. Good. Phew. <laughs> take forever. Got him. Got him. Good God, this is a really terrible pattern. Yeah, if you did it properly, it would have taken like 10 seconds or something. Mm. Here you go. All right, so we're uh, gonna steal the DA's car and drive it to the garage. I'm literally reading just what the mission says, apparently. Uh, yeah, and you need to not damage this car on the way back, uh, which obviously is a problem when you're trying to go fast and there are random cars on the road. Uh, and also, there's a time limit, and also the valets and the DA can sometimes just randomly die on their own accord. Uh, what other ways of failing are there? Uh, there's a really unique wanted one. Wanted level? Yeah, wanted level. If you get a wanted level, you fail. Uh, if you take the car to a mod shop and mod it, you fail. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> uh, you fail if you get out of the car? No, you just run out of time. So yeah, keep the car spotless. Valet, valet, whatever. You know what word I'm saying? Shut up, shut up. I mean, who the hell even says valet? <laughs> Let's be real. Uh, $10 donation from Sev Carlson that says, Currently watching from my sh shed while my wife and her friends finish up. Thanks for keeping me entertained. Good. It's not over yet. A valet can get run over. You didn't take a car. Hmm. I wonder why. Hmm. Yeah, but there's a Love cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> cool thing where you get a wanted level in the garage and you fail the mission. <laughs> I mean, that is, yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, he, uh, he does leaning no matter what, so if you knock down the lamppost, then he just leans on air. Shut up! Find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half a Mexico in here. It must well, be two tons of marriage right here. What? But but I've never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> going on here, dude. Nothing going on here, dude. Do I look like I need two tons of weed? <laughs> yeah, suddenly he's back to his hey, tank no top. All right, now we can start San Piero properly. <laughs> Except without cool satchel strands. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Well... How are you going to do it? I think I can come up with something. Who comes up with it? What could possibly go wrong? I guess we could use remote grenades. Wait, no, those aren't even a thing in this game, are they? Satchels are basically those. Cause yeah. Uh, so you'll notice now, instead of answering phone calls like we were in LS and uh, Badlands, he's just gonna do anything to cancel them, such as uh, shoot a gun or enter a car. Because uh, phone calls now have a very different purpose, <laughs> which we'll uh, get to in a bit. Yeah, as soon as it's relevant, then. Yeah. I've never seen it done like this, this mission. Flying strats, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> flying strats, yeah. Oh, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> I suddenly remembered, but then, yeah, no. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if Omega hadn't died earlier, he'd have satchels. And what you can do is you can attach uh, free satchels to this uh, porta potty, is that what they're called? Yeah, or whatever, toilet, the, the portable whatever. toilet, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
you can attach three satchels to it and blow them up, and it flips up into the air and like lands inside the hole perfectly. It's absolutely amazing, but it's, uh, it's a shame. This isn't game. too fast, too far, or too much slower. Yeah, but it's a hundred percent less cool. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's a pretty common trick anyway. So if you watch like any SA stream, you'll probably see it, unless they die before here again. Whoever even makes it to San Fierro anymore. Mm, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Shame the game had to take it away from us. That, like, what even happened? You just got out of the car and it hit you and died. <laughs> Good parking. CJ. Oh, hey, this is a fun mission. Uh, boat colors. Uh, 100% black. Uh, black and red. White and pink. Chat, type in two. Colors and uh, the boat we're about to get is gonna be. Uh... Oh, wait, there's a catch, right? Is there a catch? What? Nah. <laughs> Something about the colors, I'm not gonna mention it. Okay. Right now. Uh, we got $5 from Amiko Chan that says, Greetings from the UK, watching this with my plushie collection. Thanks for the great runs, and I'm gonna go with red and white. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. White and pink. Red Aww. and black. Alright. Red? Yeah, I was thinking like uh, I thought the boat colors were like only a, a few set like what's it like combinations of colors. But maybe I'm rem remembering wrong, or it's for like a no, different I, boat. I think you're right. That is that boat. Yeah. Um, like normally spawned ones can be anything. I think. Yeah. Uh, this but, one's like. But this one is set. This is one of the possibilities. Yeah. I started my life over right. with Crimson Executive Spouse Indemnity Services. So we're just driving the boat into uh, the next marker because it's faster, apparently. It's a lot faster yeah. because the road to here is just awful. Yeah. I was devastated when I found out my wife was cheating on me. I'm a bit slow, so you can actually launch the boat with very high speed and just squash Caesar. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, very demoralizing. Yeah, it's pretty annoying when that happens. You wouldn't even get the trip skip right because you hadn't entered the car. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. You have to go all the way back. And then all the way back again. Yeah. So uh, this car is one of the worst cars in the game. It uh, hands like crap, and if you flip it, you cannot unflip it, and it likes to flip. And we have to drive it off-road, over hills. Yeah, this mission makes like no sense if you think about it. Like, Caesar phones you and says, you know, he's spying on these dudes and you need to go with him. So you drive a car all the way to him. You then get out the car and get in his car. You drive in his car all the way there. And then at the end of the mission, he just drops you off in the middle of nowhere with no car and drives away. It's like, what? There's too much to ask, getting right into town. <laughs> At least you can take a better car after that. Yes. But it would be so hard to just teleport you to San Fierro. Oh well. Rockstar. Uh, so here's this fun bit. Remember with the Combine Harvester, now we get to do it with another terrible vehicle. At least you can kind of control uh, its pitch, like mid yeah. air. So. And Caesar can sometimes see his house from here. <laughs> all the way in Los Santos. Serious. Oh yeah, and a uh, fun fact about this mission is that it was apparently originally supposed to take part in a helicopter. Uh, see if you can notice how we figured that out. Or rather, listen. Also, once I take the fourth photo, there will be some more post buffering. AKA flashing screens. There it is, Holmes! Sherm head. This business is 
Somehow Ryder has gone deaf. Can't hear CJ yelling at him. It's night, dude, and he has sunglasses. <laughs> and a hat. This guy take himself real serious. That's T-Bone Mendez. What now? Is that it? Hey, who's the gringo? I don't like the look of that guy. This more than a few thugs push What's really annoying is this mission is pretty bad. And it would have been so much better on a heli with a helicopter. So much better. Yeah. I was driving in a savannah or whatever. Yeah. That was a nice pause bar thing. It went well. Yeah, for once. Hmm. GC is still walking. <laughs> Nothing going on <laughs> over here, dude. <laughs> Some heavy shit. We better split up and get out <laughs> of here. They're still screaming. Let's yes. back at the garage, eh? Coolio, we got what we came for anyway. Like, that makes no sense. You're like, he's still talking, he just walks away. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Oh, God. Hello, wow. friend. God damn. This game. Use your camera, man. You have to take pictures. That'll be fun, right? Use your camera to take pictures of Bequa. <laughs> Who knows what you <laughs> might discover? <laughs> I should do more of that though. Is the radio dead? Yeah. I oh, guess. Uh, no, it's just radio off for some reason by default. Must be on. Okay. The dust. Coolio. I'm bringing Coolio back. I'm saying it all the time. We've got a five dollar donation from Amico Chan. Greetings from the UK. Watching with my pushy collection. Thanks for the great runs. Oh yes, it's that time. So this is when the game goes from being uh, a normal, like, glitchless run uh, into a very very glitched run uh, so we have a phone call we've been storing phone calls for a while uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the phone call and this stadium event to do some funky things which is going to take a lot of explaining so uh, get ready chat here we go so in this game there is a uh, thing called on mission that determines whether you're on a mission or not. So right now, he isn't on a mission, so there's mission markers and stuff on the map, so you can start other missions and do everything you want. Uh, if on mission is set to one instead of zero, if it's true, uh, then you can't, it's like you're on a mission, so you can't start any other missions and do any of that other stuff. Uh, so if you were paying close attention, you would have seen as soon as the phone call rang, all the markers on the map disappeared. Uh, so yeah, a few things change that variable. Uh, missions, obviously, is one. Uh, and phone calls is another one. Um, and what happens is that the game never checks what the variable is like set to when it changes it. Because uh, it doesn't make sense, right? So the phone call, when you get a phone call, it sets it to on, like you're on a mission. And when the phone call goes away, it sets it to off a mission, because you're not on one. Uh, so what's happening is that Omega, why do you have markers on map? Is that normal? Yeah, yeah okay. on mission zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, of course. Yeah, duh. Yeah, so <laughs> Omega now is holding the phone call while Stadium finished. So he has a phone call and it's set on mission to off. So now he can start other missions while holding the phone call, all right? So he starts the mission uh, and then we watch this cutscene for a little bit while CJ answers the phone call. Uh, and by answering the phone call, when it ends, you set on mission to off again, even though he's on a mission. God, this was a terrible explanation. <laughs> yeah, also you forgot about the fact that like, when you enter, like there's some special markers like stadium events, um, and when you enter them, then you can like pause buffer, and the call can come in like while the mission is starting. Yeah. Um, it doesn't work for most missions, but like, apparently it works for like, Blood Bowl and... Glory Bowl. and Trucking. Yeah, yeah. And the one in Los and, Santos. And, uh, bike school yeah. yeah so basically what's happened is that he answered the phone call while he was in this mission so if you look on the map he can now start other missions uh, wait well you're still holding a phone call but yeah so what he's gonna do is he's going to use the phone call to start a mission twice
Yeah, and by complete, you, you're probably wondering, like, you know, what's why do a mission twice? Like, what's the point in that? That sounds slower. Um, so you can see he just started Jizzy, and the marker for Jizzy is still there. So he could have, like, restarted, he could have done the mission twice. Um, what happens is that the game tracks how many missions you've done for each person. So you've, at the moment you've done, like, probably, like, you know, no mi Jizzy missions. And if you finish this one, it adds one to the counter, so you get the next mission. Uh, and by completing the mission twice, you add one to the counter twice, so you skip the next mission. Uh, and it's not as simple as just, you know, oh, you do one less mission by doing one mission twice. There's like, the way the game checks, it's like there's some things, it's like, hey, when you complete this mission, it unlocks this one, and if you complete the next one, you unlock that one. But like, you may not be able to do those missions one after the other, right? So you can skip a lot of this game by like, cleverly doing two missions in a row. Yeah, like skipping Amphibious Assault because not having to get long capacity. Yeah, that's the main one. So yeah. uh, every single Woozy mission in uh, in San Fierro, we're not going to do a single one because we're going to skip the requirement to have completed Woozy by like skipping over the mission that needs it by duping the one before it. Yeah, a lot of his missions are pretty long anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, so you uh, you can't see it, but Omega is like holding a phone call. No, I'm not. Oh, you're not anymore. Yeah. Oh, you're like you let go. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. So there's like a lot of the time you have to like hold a button down while driving to like hold the phone call. Yeah. If you uh, if you hold the button that you use to take the call, um, and that button's also bound to alternate fire in vehicle, then that's like it kind of harks back to the PS2 controls because it, um, th both of those are the same button on a PS2 controller. Probably something to do with the code too. It's like. Um, they're considered the same button in code. Yeah. So if you just hold that button um, and it's bound to both of those, then you'll keep the call going when you're in a vehicle um, to take it or cancel it whenever you want. Chat's making fun of us. But there's no good way of explaining this. Yeah, it's, well... We're going to do missions twice by using about, phone calls. How about right? they try explaining it better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they can't. Some of them probably do. Maybe pouty. But <laughs> that's about it. So I'm going to waste a little SMG ammo. For reasons you shall see them see. So there's a nice strike. Mr. Jizz, the C Jack. The C Jack. No, we're not cheating. <laughs> the Jizz are not cheats. Yeah, normally uh, GZ, you get given a micro SMG when you have to like rescue that hooker. But because we went into Blood Bowl, Blood Bowl, it gives us an MP5 instead. Because that's the weapon you get given there. We have a $5 donation from Ion. First time watching, great show and good luck to the runners. Thank you for donating. So now I'm gonna start holding the call. Yeah, and while you're holding the call, you can't stop shooting when you're aiming. So he uh, he has to keep holding it. So yeah, he's holding the phone call. Uh, there we go. So he's like holding the phone call still. And then mission ends and sets on mission back to zero. And now he's still holding the phone call. So he's like, we, we're storing like a switch from on mission one to zero. So we keep hold of that and we can use it whenever we want. Yeah. We're like basically, you know, directly affecting the variables in the game's code this way. And all of that setup was for this part, pretty much. Yeah. So I can do this next mission. He, he's holding the call because if he lets go of it, it will set on mission from zero to zero. That's like pointless, right? So he needs to like hold it so he lets go at the right time to switch it from one to zero at the right time. All right, so here we go. So yeah, he let go just then. So you can see the mission starts twice. So he like walks into the marker. CJ's like still walking through the marker while we're in the cutscene. And then you let go of the phone call and then it starts the mission twice. And because the T-Bone Mendes cutscene takes place in interior. You get this funky lighting when you start it a second time. Yeah. And, the, and no traffic will spawn except, I think, one police car.
So uh, yeah, now the mission is like running twice, and you're gonna complete two copies of it at the what the same time to pass two missions. Yeah, that's the like the one cop who will spawn. Also, I don't have the big rifle, so I'm gonna have to do some uh, casual old strats. school strats. They aren't old; they're just tried and true. Intended strats. Yeah, I can explain the what you'd normally do if you had the, the rifle. You just kind of snipe them from on top of a hill. Um, if you headshot them, then it doesn't like trigger the cutscene. But if you don't kill them, like if you shoot them and they don't die, then it just triggers that scene and then you have to go get the rest of them normally. Yeah. Now I never did this mission this well when I was actually <laughs> like using this strat in runs. Yeah, that's gone really well. Retribution for what's gone wrong so far. Oh damn. Oh, at least he fell off. <laughs> thanks, friend. Oh, hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. Real rockers wear leather jackets, not some flannel shirts. You're on. Dust. Remember, Dust fans, nobody rules the streets like us. We're not outdated, and neither is our music. Alright, so we're gonna pass this mission twice. Yeah, you saw the markers show up and then just disappear yeah. right after. So it like showed up so you could start the next mission and then you completed that mission and it yeah, went away. Yeah, completed that mission. Yeah. <laughs> so when it comes down That's to stupid. It, That's why we need all the phone calls we can get. You can hide a man. And the uh, reason we couldn't do this earlier is because it only works with certain mission markers, like a like Blood Bowl here. Like a different person just programmed every single marker or something. Well, with this one. you could do it in Los Santos with 8-track, but we don't have enough driving skill yet. Yeah, yeah, that's what you'd use for, well, I guess that's why you go to driving school later on. Yes, for, uh, that's right. For some duping at the end of the game in Los Santos, but that's like two hours from now or so. so. Yeah, so we're on our way back to the stadium to get an on mission zero pool again. That's it, what we call it. So he's going to park here. Cancel the phone call at a specific time, and now he has to walk into that marker and trigger the marker as soon as the phone call is due to come in. So he like does them both at the same time. And you can pause buffer to make it easier. Well, doing it without pause buffering is kind of silly, at least. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So you could see like he's inside the marker and the mission is starting, but he answers. He gets a phone call at the same time. Yeah. Basically, what pause buffering does in this game, it just inserts frames. Like, like what, to where you are, so like yeah. it like delays the mission start, essentially allowing enough time for the game to check to, uh, if a phone call is available. But you still need to like time the phone call. It's like every 15 seconds, or every 16 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, like you look at the end game clock after you've cancelled it, and then kind of like time it close enough. Yeah. Start pause buffering. All right, so he's holding the phone call again. So yeah, you get the phone call as the mission fails, and then you'll, you can start other missions while holding the phone call. And this is the uh, the side effect. This is why I was wasting SMG ammo, so I'd have less to shoot through here. Yeah. Yeah, because the hold call button, like uh, you said, is the shoot button as well on vehicles. And all these dupes just get riskier and riskier as the run goes on. Partner. Partner. And the plan is to carry a phone call through the next few missions. Yeah. Actually a lot of missions. A lot of missions. Yeah, the, the next glitch is uh, slightly different. And even more fun to explain. <laughs> Should we just not explain it? Just <laughs> makes absolutely no sense what you're doing. Uh, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> About as much sense as the code. <laughs> So 
yeah, phone calls in a mission because of the on mission zero. And get on the bike first to make uh, the van start moving because now this is essentially just an auto scroller. Before doing anything, we're gonna get uh, this uh, NRG here. Uh, on mission one. <laughs> okay. If he is, if he's not on a mission when he gets on that NRG while in a mission, uh, the game will crash. <laughs> so I'm glad you held the phone call before you did that. Maybe you wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have. But yeah, I actually need to have the NRG for this entire thing, for like one specific thing I want to do. Like Sanchez is not fast enough. This mission is just blowing up a bunch of cars and people. of the rest of this game. <laughs> ring ring. Yeah, I want to pick up that uh, chainsaw for right for later. For hello friend. Yo, how you do? there to avoid uh, fog tires can sometimes happen I'm like farming all the AK ammo I can get and then one guy survives It's just running into a tree, apparently. Body nice. muscle, what? Yeah, the uh, rocket launchers are heavy, dude. <laughs> have you ever lifted one? I can't say I have. Though. So now we have, ju we just have like a couple minutes till the van makes it to the end destination. So I'm going to acquire some weaponry. And kind of show off this uh, classic strat. Oh, yeah. Knock, knock. <laughs> punch the gate, make it open. The phone calls. Yeah, I want to keep maximum phone calls available yeah. just for safety. What are you doing? You drive like a crazy bitch. And also, this mission is programmed to set maximum wanted level to zero stars, so even though I blow up a bunch of cars and stuff, I still have no wanted level. <laughs> You'll get in there. You'll get it. <laughs> oh, he's backing up. Uh... In okay. the actual hell. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> yeah, and now we get three stars at the end. Yeah. So I have to quickly save to get rid of the plane. What am I thinking of? Now you save. 
so yeah, by abusing the on mission zero thing, you can save in missions. Actually, it like I don't know if it's frame perfect, but it's uh, there's a very finite window of letting go of the call and not taking it in that specific cutscene. Oh yeah, and uh, this mission. So you're supposed to follow this train to Los Santos, uh, but you can kind of just ride it and skip to the next train station with it. Yeah, that's a, there's a funny story of how we found it out. Like some guy was in my chat. It's was like, you retard, why don't you just take the train? Then uh, he got banned. <laughs> and I was like, okay, oh, hey, it works. Oh, thanks, guy. <laughs> yeah. So now we need to find a police vehicle. Oh, here they go. Uh, right, so, get ready chat, here we go. So here's another uh, long explanation. So Omega's been holding that phone call this entire time. Well, not literally holding it, but he's been carrying the phone call for all these missions. Uh, and now we're in Snail Trail with On Mission Zero. So we have like phone calls and stuff. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a glitch that makes it so we can continue with this run. Otherwise, things will be very difficult. Um, but as part of that, he needs a police vehicle in order to start Vigilante. Yeah, this would be perfect time for uh, some uh, donations. Yeah. A lot of police action, action in San Andreas today. So we just have to wait for this guy to drive around uh, downtown LS. Is everyone just, <laughs> just standing in front of you? And he's getting stuck in a traffic light, apparently. Yeah, great. Hopefully this means he won't stop at any other light. Oh, he's taking the good pattern. There are three different patterns this guy can take, and this is potentially the best one. Because there, there's the least number of traffic lights. So, like, for a certain, um, uh, not for a certain, certain amount of time, this taxi will stop at uh, every red light. But uh, after a while, it just doesn't care. Like right there, he ran ran through a red, so. With this route, it's possible to have him not stop at any lights at all. Hey, don't molest me. Yeah, this is such a slow mission. There's nothing you can do to make this any faster. We tried the GTA thing of like getting in a taxi yourself and picking up the report, but it doesn't work. Yeah, nothing works in this game. Yeah. So yeah, as soon as this mission finishes, or well, as soon as we get to the end of this mission, uh, Omega's going to set up a massive, uh, massive glitch that we're going to do. Um, so right at the end, he's going to hold the phone call, the good old phone call. Um, and then he's gonna end the mission and kill the two guys, so that he like you know he holds on to the the phone call through stuff. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and then he's going to use vigilante to uh, to start a to get on mission one again. And then we're gonna go to the airport. Way to the beach. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So remember, he has he can't stop shooting when he's holding the phone call. Oh, okay. Could do it that way, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Right, okay. So here we go. So this is the uh, this is the zero star glitch. So we're going to start Vigilante while holding the phone call. 
and we're going to drive over to the airport. I guess two minutes is fine. Yeah, I'll do. So you need the timer to run out at a very specific point. And you can uh, manipulate it by getting off of the vehicle. So coming up, he's going to switch to a different vehicle. Oh, nice BF. Gonna have to take this guy's bike for breaking the uh, road rules. <laughs> so now he has uh, 50 seconds until Vigilante ends because he's not on a police vehicle. So what he's gonna do at a very specific amount of time left, or actually a position, uh, he's going to let go of the phone call uh, and then he'll have 15 seconds until the next phone call comes in. Uh, and he's gonna try to time three different things correctly. <laughs> Alright, so we let go of the phone call, all the mission markers came back on the map. And he's gonna go into this marker, which is the teleport to, you know, take a plane to another place marker. And we're gonna wait to a specific time on the vigilante seconds left. After holding the phone call. Then we're gonna be in this plane cutscene. Now we're in this plane cutscene, and this plane cutscene makes it so you cannot get wanted stars at any point. Like the game, just like every frame, it just takes your wanted stars away, or every frame-ish. Uh, and when Vigilante finishes, you gain control of CJ back. So by like manipulating the phone call and whatnot, we can get into that cutscene with Vigilante. Uh, and then we blow up the plane, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, aiming to the side of it to get the recoil correct. It's not blowing up. <laughs> Okay, is that good enough, do you think? No. <laughs> so what's supposed to happen is that he blows up the plane before it reaches the end of the runway, and the cutscene only ends when the plane reaches the end of the runway. Uh, and by blowing it up, the plane never actually reaches the end of the runway, so the cutscene never finishes. Uh, and that makes it so the cutscene is still constantly like wiping your wanted level the entire time. Do you have a backup for this? I should. So you're just gonna go to LS again? Yeah, alright. Yeah, so this glitch is really difficult to do. You not only have to time, like, you know, the vigilante, the phone call, and then the traveling and getting out of the plane. Uh, you then have to land, you know, because you, you're holding the phone call, you can't stop shooting for recoil. So you have to, like, constantly shoot the AK-47 at the plane. And you have to try and blow it up as it's, like, you know, screeching down a runway away from you. You can't use a bazooka, um, because if you go into first-person camera, you answer the phone call. So you have to use the AK-47, you can't just like use a homing launcher. Alright, so here we go again. So we're gonna go back to LS with it. So again, he's got a phone call and vigilante into this cutscene. Threat eliminated apparently, uh, and he's gonna get out and shoot the plane and blow it up before it reaches the end of the runway. There you go. Good, so there's no fade out. So in the game, you know, the now that cutscene is still constantly still there and it's constantly wiping as one it stars. Uh, and the reason we need no wanted stars is because uh, we would have four permanently in Los Venturas because of another skip we're going to do. Skipping Woozy uh, skips the mission that actually unlocks Los Venturas. So we never in this run unlock Los Venturas until like...
one other effect of doing this glitch. Um, the game is now checking constantly for a vehicle of the same unique, like, internal code ID uh, as the plane. Oh, I guess we should explain this first. So he's going to, um, he's going to start the NRG challenge and gain 10 seconds, uh, and then drive back to the save point. And he's going to save in between the phone call coming back and, and NRG challenge ending uh, with a plane in your way. So yeah, this is another really tight timing. The whole duping is all just tight timings everywhere. So he needs I don't to think like I made it, actually. Yeah, he should be good. Honest, Ten seconds here is plenty. Everyone so he needs to, like, save before the NRG challenge runs out. Oh. <laughs> no, I just have to do it again. Yeah, okay. I got the call, so it's fine. I took the wrong route for some reason. Yeah. I was wondering where you were going. Yeah, so what he's trying to do is he's trying to keep the phone call while, uh, like, through saves. And this is the only way to do it. Alright, here we go. Usually on, no, go to Los Santos, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit different. Also rain. Yeah, that rain is... Nightmare's about to go off. More music coming at you. Alright. There you go. Okay, there you go. So the plan there was to make it so you can answer the phone call before the NRG challenge finishes. So you can like continue holding this phone call through missions. So, uh, we're going to carry this phone call for a few more missions and we're going to use it for a dupe. Despite this roller coaster of a run, you're still like on route for duping. <laughs> the important thing. Like if you mess any of these things up, the run is uh, pretty over, and you'd have to use a backup save. Like this is like, it's, it's so difficult to get all of this right. Just finishing a run like normally is so challenging. Like understanding all the times oh, of everything. Why? And yeah, that taxi. <laughs> Doesn't help that I'm getting like little to no cooperation from the game. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're gonna shoot this car six times, uh, which puts it on very low health. Sure, I cancelled the car, but whatever, no big deal. Uh, so then one more shot on the car will blow it up. That's Jizzy's car. He's about to escape with it. Yeah, you're gonna have to <laughs> wait a bit. So this here, if you fall into this marker, uh, it eats your phone call. So you need to be careful there. All right, so yeah, Jizzy's car is on like really low health now, so you just need to shoot it a little bit more. And he's gonna have to answer the phone call while he does it. There it is. Good. So yeah, he can't stop shooting because he's holding the phone call. And he got it, nice. <laughs> Still got that, nice. I just want to quickly say that we just have collected over $15,000 uh, on our own. Good job, guys. And thanks to that, with the matching we have, we have collected in total over 30000 Keep up the great work. <laughs> what is happening to you? All right, so here comes some more phone call management. Uh, during this mission, you need to use a sniper rifle to kill uh, Ryder. 
But as I said earlier, if you're holding the phone call and then you go first person, you answer the phone call. So he needs to cancel the phone call at a certain time, then start aiming with the sniper rifle, and then have the phone call come in while he's still aiming so he can continue uh, carrying it through missions. Shit, they walk right into it. And there's still some on the left, CJ. One of those triad boys is down. Right, so he's let go of the phone call there. Now it's 15 seconds to start aiming at Ryder. There you go. So the phone call's like come in now. So as soon as he's done snipering, he's gonna answer the phone call. There you go. Snipering. Yeah, you have to wait a little bit for the call, but there you go. You got some more excellent shooting. <laughs> yeah, thankfully because of the zero star glitch with the plane, uh, obviously we're not gonna get any one stars. So you can just ride through town blasting. few side effects <laughs> such as that so yeah so now because we skip Jaeger boom boom you never actually unlock Los Venturas uh, but that's what we have the zero star glitch for nice. so yeah he passed that mission twice so I'm gonna do a safety save actually here just in case I miss up the next dupe Now this is a phone call we actually need to answer. So this is the phone call. Oh well, <laughs> it should be if you give it a minute. To do the route. Yeah. You need all the phone calls to do all of the dupes. So next one should be a uh, monster. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he had like a few extra phone calls he could have used, but thankfully he didn't He didn't drop any of them. Even through all of this stuff that's happened, he's managed to stay perfectly on phone call route. So now we're just going to buy zero. What are these phone calls? So you like answer the monster phone call to unlock the next mission, and then you buy zero's property. Uh, and then now you have another zero phone call, and he rings you about buying his house. So you need to answer all these phone calls first and then buy Zero's house uh, store so that you have like one more phone call that you can use. And now he's going to use it here to get on mission Zero again. So timing the phone call. So he timed it at 16.13, uh, which means that... Uh, I'm going to embarrass myself here. 16.28. Thank you. 16.28 is when the phone call should come in. So we're going to wait until then, or just for. There you go, then he walks into the marker, pause buffer, wait for the phone call to come back. There it is. So you can tell that he's got it because he can like move around before he should be able to. Alright, now comes one of the riskiest dupes of the whole run. <laughs> uh, only one of them, look. <laughs> only one? Only one. So this is monster dupe. Uh, I can't remember exactly how it works. Do you? Can you explain it? No. No. <laughs> okay. It's like you have to skip the cutscene at a specific time because otherwise the monster trucks will spawn inside of each other. 
Yeah. There's like you need to answer the f you need to an uh, answer the phone call and start the next mission in the cutscene for the mission uh, at exactly the right time uh, so that you don't soft lock because you can soft lock in these cutscenes. Uh, and if you do get that right, what can also happen is that what's going to happen is two monster trucks spawn inside of each other, and you need to drive one of those monster trucks. Um, so you need to get into one of the monster trucks before the other one spawns. Uh, otherwise, they'll blow each other up and you won't be able to continue. But first, a little bit of driving school. Uh, so that we need to do this to raise our driving skill a little bit so we can access the stadium in Los Santos later in the game for more phone call glitches. Silver. Yeah, you need to get like three golds here. It's really annoying because you only get gold if you park like perfectly. Yeah, it's the parking is the most important thing. The whole driving is irrelevant, it's just parking. There you go. So you can see his driving skill went up because he got gold. So he needs to get this gold. There you go. So now he has enough driving skill to uh, access stadium events in Los Santos. Doesn't help that you also had to hold the phone call there too. <laughs> yeah, hold the phone call the entire time. So like pretty much for most of the last hour I've just been holding left control. <laughs> just holding the phone call button the entire time, yeah. Still playing like normally. We have a five dollar donation from Tidova. Yes, Dupe. We have a ten dollar donation from Tidova. Yes, Dupe. <laughs> Dupe donation. Oh yeah, both colors, white and blue. Yeah. And because I never did Yeka Boom Boom, the roadblocks will actually never disappear. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the roadblocks and the bridges between San Fuel, between all the islands and Los Venturas, they're still there and they'll be there the entire time. You can see you uh, never locked it. Interesting uh, <laughs> bounce, boat physics. Now I can get an oyster though. <laughs> hey! <laughs> or not. You can get it without like uh, diving at all. Yeah, you just need the <laughs> waves. All right, so here we go. We're gonna serious time for this. All right, so this is gonna force the mission to start twice. Got it. Nice. So now, because of the way he started those two missions at the same time, you have control over CJ in the cutscene. So you get inside the monster truck while it doesn't have any physics because it's in the cutscene. You get in it and then cancel the cutscene and then both monster trucks get physics again. But because you're in one, it just pops out and you're all good. That is one of the really, really difficult dupes in this game. Like just mashing that cutscene like, to get it the right timing is so hard. But yeah, if he hadn't have done that, uh, when he cancelled the second cutscene, the two monster trucks have just been stuck inside of each other and he can't get in them and they blow up. So yeah, now he's doing this mission twice at the same time. Just have to not fail it. <laughs> and you're gonna see those stars popping in on the screen every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, yeah, he's technically he hasn't unlocked this island yet. Uh, but because of that plane cutscene that's still running in the background, it's constantly wiping his stars all the time. Um, yeah, yeah, random cop cars everywhere. I don't think your mic's on. <laughs> Do we have time for some donations? Yeah, yeah. go for it. Alright, we have an $8 anonymous donation that says, Save the children to save Earth. Peace and love. And we have a $1 donation from S. Yes. There was a nice land van driving past there doing snail trail. Here's a dollar for it. Hope <laughs> you saved a replay of it. 
Here's hoping Booth 2 won't screw you over and the run is a go. <laughs> I also can't wait for the best mission of the game, featuring the best and most awesome helicopter in the game. Five motor blades. Up, up and away. And 100% jokes. Hey, look, police cars. <laughs> so SWAT is here to get him. Go get him, boys. Sting. Okay, yeah, this works again. We have a $50 donation from Pudding of Doom. Hey guys, it's always great to see you all playing for an amazing cause. Keep up the awesome work. P.S. Whoever suggested morale for the Undertale character name is a genius. <laughs> we also got a $20 Louis. $20 donation from Lugo. Got loads of things to do. Oh, ESA is on. Well, I guess everything can wait a week. No, we can't. Anyway, good luck to all the runners. Thank you so much for your donations. Thank God there's no <laughs> phone call holding for <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. There are sometimes some rocks that spawn here randomly. That can be detrimental to Monster Truck's health. Yeah, we're just uh Completing this race for Tony Knight. Prove we're Trump. the Mang Mangs. Pretty good for a ghetto boy. <laughs> and it's starting to get to the point where we're getting a, a few extra markers on the map that never go away. Dude's still there? Yes, yeah, there in that cutscene. Okay. Hey. Boss was right about you. Okay. Boss was right about you. Boss would be in. Now this guy has a little <laughs> difficulty getting out of his twin. <laughs> You'll get it eventually. We have a five dollar donation from Anonymous. Save children, kill the animals. Good luck to all the runners. And we also have a ten dollar donation hey. from Faisal. This speed running thing looks cool. Also hello fellow chit chatters. <laughs> like a police car. Nope. <laughs> Oh yeah, and here's, uh, here's the monster box back again. So a side effect of duping monsters is that box is going to be there for a little bit. Only a little bit though, thankfully. Nice shotgun, I could use that. That was lucky. So yeah, I had to answer to, yeah, two calls because obviously the game is going to call me about hijack even though I've already done it. So. Yeah, that's our answer two to get the next mission. In the past we used to have an NRG for this mission, but since the bridges are closed there's like no way to get one here. So the police ranger is the next best thing. It's actually pretty decent. Yeah, good for off-road stuff, what you're doing. Yeah, we're just driving down to the uh, airfield now, which we're going to buy and do some flight school. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh. Interdiction. Yeah, yeah. Other mission first. <laughs> Where you uh, bo go boom boom on some stuff. This car won't stop flipping. <laughs> <laughs> it's possessed. Jolzy. 
Oh, friends. We have a $5 anonymous donation that says, Thanks for the comfy stream. And we have another $10 donation from Anonymous. Donating purely because the reader sounds cute as heck. For the groove, CJ! Now this is why I got the homing rockets earlier. Yeah. Makes this mission really trivial. Sometimes you can you can get a little quick kill on him before he like makes a pass. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? There you go. It's on a timer anyway. Yeah, you have to wait for that package to uh, fall to the ground. And I have like full armor, so I don't need to get it. Rocket. Yeah. Listen up, y'all. You listen to the man of the hour. Yeah, so while we're waiting for that package to fall to the ground so we can pick it up, we're gonna get these rockets that are over here. Yeah, that, that they intended us to use for this bit. Yeah. Get 40 of them, which is plenty for Las Venturas. Stars are still flashing on the screen constantly. So as long as I make it here bef before this package falls to the ground, okay. I won't lose any time. Yeah. Where are you? You giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching or listening or both. That just we gotta take it back where we got the rockets. Thankfully, the uh, flight school will remove the box on the screen, so we don't have to have it any longer. Oh yeah, and parking the bike outside of the garage so you can continue using it. There's like a little bit of overlap on the hitbox. There you go. And that lets you keep the bike. Yeah. Otherwise, it's locked inside the garage. Party ships crash land. This is the party indeed. <laughs> party time. Hey, can anybody out there in the uh, fucking land tell me what, what are those dragons building out there in the desert? Anybody know anything about that? Uh oh, this party with Mr. GC George Clinton, y'all. Honking with his hands behind his back. Oh, oh, what goes up must come down. Bullshit. <laughs> Uh, like this is is why I was reluctant of buying anything before now because I need eighty thousand dollars to buy the airstrip. Yeah. And I because of all the missions we skip, we, like we barely have enough money as is. So any trips like ammunition would certainly make it so we'd have to do something else to get money. Yeah, satchels are really expensive. 
Firefighter? <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Cool bounce. <laughs> well, you were listening to Bounce FM, so. <laughs> Here's the airstrip that we need to buy and learn how to fly on. Gonna come back here a few times and run. Nice. Landed right on it. Gonna have to uh, store this PCJ for a later. Learning to fly. So yeah, now we just have to do flight school. Well, you do all of them except for the parachute one, for now. Yeah. And thankfully this removes the box on the screen. We have a five dollar donation from Free ICCX. Save the children, kill the rider. And we have another five dollar donation from Jericho Russ with a simple heart. Thank you so much for donating. It's fine as long as I don't fail to circle airstrip on land. At least this game has good radio. Hey, it doesn't be VC. <laughs> yes. Okay, maybe we can get some funky worm going on. Same, but with landing. I <laughs> <laughs> wonder why they couldn't have just made you do this one and that's it. Made more level sense. Yeah. It's too hard, dude. Okay, you need more of that flying practice. Apparently. So if you need to go to the bathroom, that's a good time. <laughs> have like two minutes. Then stuff happens again. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the... Seems like in between cities you always have this lull in the action. Like you had a wall of Badlands and then the start of San Piero. And then here is like the start of Los Venturas. Since we're not interested in getting gold medals or anything, we just land as soon as possible on the runway, get a bronze and call it a day. There's no reason to go all the way to the end. Time to do the same for helicopters. Oh my god, we've got a helicopter! Still not sure why they made you like shoot stuff in flight school. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make much sense. What does in this game, to be honest? Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. 
Yeah, again, so just landing as soon as possible. Don't need to go to the end. If you get a gold medal in this, you get a hunter. Like in every single yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A gold medal in every single, uh, yeah. every single section. You need at least 70% on all of them to like pass them. Um, but if you don't go in the Corona, and some of them then wants you to land in the Corona, then the highest you can get is 75. So your landing needs to be basically perfect. Otherwise, you won't actually pass it. Now everyone's favorite, destroy things. Yeah. A little, uh, couple of uh, turnarounds. Yeah, I love the music. But the stink going crazy, y'all. Booty wings with a whole bunch of butts. Okay. The part. Are you gonna show CJ's face? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Isley Brothers. Y'all might call them the Isley Brothers, but I call them the Isley Brothers between the sheets. I want to get you to eat two sheets. <laughs> the party's non-stop. The party's universal in all of us. <laughs> Looking pretty excited there. <laughs> it's flying a plane, man. It's exciting. Barrel rolls and stuff. Aileron rolls. Alright, so now, this is parachute onto target, which is the final flight school mission. Um, but instead of just doing it normally, we are gonna go do bit with the uh, an old on mission zero phone call. Bike school. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, using bike school, yeah. Just waiting for a specific time. There you go. So now he has the on mission zero phone call. Yeah, like if you kind of guesstimate all the time losses, it's probably going to be like close to the estimate. Yeah. You'll make it. <laughs> so yeah, now we're going to start learning to fly twice. Hey, what's up? So we have to wait for this phone call, unfortunately. So normally you skip the phone calls by pressing F uh, to like cancel the phone call instantly. But you can't cancel the phone call here without exiting this menu, so you just have to listen to it. So just going to stand here for a few seconds. It's a pretty good phone call, it's alright. Learn to fly, Carl. There we go. So he started two copies of uh, parachuting at the same time. Which is gonna skip the next mission, because it thinks you passed the Torino mission twice. And uh, a funny side effect of this is there'll be a friend waiting for CJ at the end of the runway. <laughs> See if you can spot him. There he is. Can anyone see who it is? <laughs> Why, it's CJ, of course. <laughs> Just waiting for himself. His own buddy. <laughs> He's, he was so fast. 
There you go. Now we walk back in and cancel it to remove another box at the bottom of the screen. There you go. Now time for stowaway. This mission's fun. Yeah. Don't blink. This doesn't concern you. It's just sliding with <laughs> some of its pistol noise. <laughs> yeah, kill this guy for his parachute. Because we need one. Yeah, you could just shoot him, but if you didn't hit him in the head and if you missed, then uh you fail. Kinda, yeah, it's yeah. kind of going to blow up the plane. If, if you shoot anything like this ramp, the plane blows up. Yeah, so you can just do that, but you need to get the yeah. parachute first. Yeah, and flight school actually, like, you could have a parachute before flight school, but fl doing flight school actually takes it away at the very end. Yeah, you used to get a parachute in the mission before this to use on this mission. Uh, but obviously we skipped that mission by duping parachutes and don't have a parachute. Explosive ramps, yeah. It's a good sky. And this mission actually drops you up like way beyond the height limit. Yeah, you're like way higher than you should be right now. Somehow that plane got all that height in like two minutes or like two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Is this pub? I mean, if he was playing PUBG, then you'd get people asking, like, oh, what kind of uh, SA mod is this? Oh. <laughs> oh, which phone call do I get at the good, correct phone call? There's, like, you can get that call, which unlocks the Las Venturas Boozy missions, or you can get a Catalina troll call, which you don't want. Yeah. And here's the crop duster. It's like the closest decent vehicle to where you fall out of the plane. Magic trick. <laughs> yep. yeah. If you blinked, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, the way the collision works between vehicles in this game is funky, and then sometimes Rockstar forgot to make two things that should collide with each other collide with each other. Uh, so, helicopter. So just taking this specific path through the casino. The stairs and like uh, some other things you're allowed to sprint on. Most things you can't sprint on indoors, but some things you can. So you like run along those and then jump between them to take the most optimal route. Yeah, you can like keep some of your sprint like for a little bit after you land when you jump. Yeah. And now time to fill the scare meter by turning left. At very high speeds. Yeah. yeah apparently left handbrake turns really, really scare him there. Yeah. Even though he's telling us otherwise. <laughs> if you turn, nah, if you turn right, this doesn't work. Yeah. 
get some get some uh, appropriate K rows going on. <laughs> really scary. Try some handbrake turns. <laughs> <laughs> Rockstar new intended strats. Right, so this is one of the missions you needed this helicopter for. Uh, so there's like a quarry you need to go into and steal a load of TNT from. Uh, and it's driving into the quarry and escaping the quarry when they block the door it takes a little while, so instead you can just use a helicopter to fly straight in and straight out. Yeah, but it's mostly for the like yeah, mission. Two missions. Yeah, two missions from now. Yeah. It's useful here too. I mean, yeah, the exit would have taken like a minute or something. Yeah, and then you would have to drive all the way back. Yeah, you need to do a little parkour with uh, Sanchez. Yeah. Just flying out. <laughs> so much better. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just fly straight into that marker. Helicopter gets teleported here. Now, uh, you can dupe this mission, uh, but it's really, really dumb. Like, what happens is two of those spawn inside of each other, uh, and this dumper is the only vehicle that you can use to destroy the dynamite. And you need it, and if it blows up, you fail the mission. Uh, so, similar to the monster dupe we did earlier, we can't have two of the same vehicle that we need inside of each other, because they'll destroy each other. So, if you dupe this mission, you have to get a, like, I think... The strat I've seen is you have to get a Sanchez, you have to park it where this spawns, like on one of the wheels, and just hope that it flips one of the dumpers out of the other one, <laughs> and it lands correctly and you can take it. It's so silly. There may be like some other strats, but yeah, it, the dupe doesn't save too much time anyway, so it's way better in a marathon to do this, like this. Yeah, it would just keep, uh, you've had your chips. Yeah, which is not that long a mission at all. It's coming up next. Yep, so he blocks off the exit and we just fly on out. Goodbye. Oh yeah, and now a side effect of this mission is that it changes the weather to a, a sandstorm. And a little his favorite yeah, sandstorm, beat song. Yeah. And a little known fact about this game is that the wind actually affects flying vehicles. Yeah, it just con continuously wants to push me like towards the east. Yeah, it's really bad for heli flying, especially because they're not like especially fast. Yeah, like so. A plane, yeah. yeah. But even with planes, they can like block takeoffs because they'll just push you around. The crosswind, you just ooh. Yeah, so this is like really annoying trying to fly this in the sandstorm. So like you see, it just constantly turning to the right, and yeah. that's not me. <laughs> I have to try and land it. All right, optimal movement through here again. I'll be seeing this casino a lot. Yeah. Right, so you had your chips. Sandstorm is gone, fortunately. Yeah. So this mission's fun. Uh, gonna, this mission, you need to destroy a load of uh, casino chip machines. Uh, and the way that you destroy them is really important. So the most important thing is that on, when you destroy uh, four machines, it spawns a guy at the exit with an automatic shotgun. 
uh, and it's like a really, really deadly weapon. It can really mess you up. It like stuns you and like does a load of damage and lets other guys kill you and stuff. Uh, so we're going to avoid shooting uh, four machines, uh, even though there's six machines we have to destroy. What Omega's going to do is he's going to destroy three machines, and then he's going to destroy two machines at exactly the same time. So that the game thinks he went from one, two, three, five, and he never actually destroys four machines and skips the skips the guy spawning outside. Yeah, it's pretty easy to do with the explosives. Yeah. One reason why we got the rockets. Yeah, makes this mission so much better. I wonder why Rockstar never tested that. <laughs> equal to four instead of equal. Greater or equal yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some more guys that have automatic shotguns in here, so make us just being careful to get rid of them now, like that guy there, which isn't dying. There you go, finally. Right, yeah, that's, so that's one machine. That's two machines. Oh wait, three, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you were counting better than I was. <laughs> yeah. And there's a car that always comes around and you can get run over and you would pretty much die because they constantly shoot you with SMGs. Yeah. That get pushed. It's okay, CJ is stronger than a helicopter. <laughs> God damn. Why? <laughs> the worst is when a, a fire truck comes along because of all the fire and just slams into the Maverick. It's just impossible to take off. Right, there you go. It's there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't really tell like if your takeoff's gonna be fine because when you land, you can kind of like get out before it's completely stopped moving. Yeah. You can just like move a little bit towards the the wall. All right, and now the. Uh Real reason we have the Maverick specifically is coming up next. Just need to watch this fantastic cutscene first. Pay close attention to what CJ says. <laughs> no more trouble with them, full stop. Counterfeit chips. <laughs> Counterfeit chips. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they must have like spliced two lines together or something and just did a really terrible job but of they, it. They did it in the subtitles too, they're, like there was yeah, a period. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> a mission that used to be extremely annoying. Yeah, long, long time ago. So this mission, you need to go pick up Paul and Maka uh, with a four-door vehicle. Uh, and the Maverick, conveniently, is a four-door helicopter, so we can use it. Before, we used to use the Maverick. We used to use the Hunter from Flight School, getting all golds. Uh, and you'd have to, have to find a four-door vehicle and drive it over there, like a limo or something. <laughs> I did it, did it once with a limo, that was not fun. But yeah, with a helicopter, this, this whole mission is a lot easier. I will not show you my teeth. Unless I happen to grin, then you can see for yourself, I guess. And you can't quite fly straight there because uh, there's a military base in the way. And they st still shoot at you even if you have zero stars. Yeah, that zero star glitch is still going. I guess now is a good time to explain that uh, a vehicle with the same in-game ID number spawns with the same as the plane from earlier. Uh, the game will fade to black and Omega will teleport to the nearest airport and lose the four-star glitch, a uh, zero-star glitch. And, uh, just have to pray that doesn't happen. There's literally nothing you can do about it except like reload the save as quickly as possible. Whoever uh, designed this mission is pretty evil. 
Yeah, it's just a, just a little too far away. So you have to fly back towards them. Alright, to the snake farm. Instantly blow these guys away with a rocket launcher, and then uh, everybody, in the everybody in the car. Yes, the car. So the issue with this mission in the past was that if a cop was around, like that cop like right that there, there, I would have gotten two stars. And because the cops have like uh, like SUVs, they'll just block my takeoff, forcing me to like kill them, and then. <laughs> Obviously, you will get more stars, so it just gets progressively more difficult to take off. Yeah, but thankfully, because again, the zero star glitch, don't have to deal with any of that. Well, if we didn't have a zero star glitch, we'd have four stars right now. It'd be a little bit worse. Great dialogue. <laughs> and Paul going from a loser in a, in a nightclub to a loser in a desert. <laughs> Cutscene? Yeah, you, you blocked CJ, blocked by the helicopter. Alright, now you have to try and push the helicopter out of here while waiting for a phone call, or fly it in a... <laughs> yeah, you should be good from there, I guess. Oh, wow, okay, I see what you're doing. So he's going to use the helicopter to cancel the phone call animation. There you go. <laughs> I've never seen that. And now for a mission with some good old RNG. Yeah. Second van. <laughs> Second ambulance. It's a little bit different though. So, after I go to the hospital, the game will spawn three ambulances, one of which is correct. It will never be the first one, and then, then after that it, it will be one of the two remaining ones. Yeah, you can tell, like, if you look at the minimap and one of them's, like, not moving at all, then that's the correct one. Yeah. And one of them's a lot closer to the end of the mission than the other one, so... Yeah. yeah. The other one is usually hanging around uh, Woozy's casino and the other is just like some the in the middle of nowhere. Near that highway that's, like, on the side. Have cables. <laughs> Gonna ram this ambulance a bit. There we go. <laughs> Just That's a pretty bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you have to like interact with the first ambulance before the uh, the next ambulance could be the correct one. Small boop is usually enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit overkill. Okay, so yeah, it's still good. Got lucky. Yeah, so that helicopter, uh, that, that marker, the ambulance moved, so it has to be the uh, second one. Third one, I guess. The western one. <laughs> the one closer to where we want to go, so it's better. Yeah. So, goodbye Maverick. Served as well for a while. Oh my god, your card down buck. Well, you get some, you lose some. <laughs> He's lost a lot. <laughs> True. Kind of taking a better route here, because that road, if I would have kept going on that road, it would have uh, taken me south instead of north.
That's the second time that's happened to you. Yeah, so just driving this guy, uh, the guy that we scared earlier in the run, driving him to this meat factory where his friends are. Hey, Johnny, how you feeling? I didn't think he was going to be discharged till tomorrow. All right, so... Time to start duping again. <laughs> PCJ. Gonna have some payback. <laughs> now I only have a low priority phone call, which is which means basically an unnecessary phone call, which doesn't like progress the story at all. Which is like Catalina just antagonizing me. Yeah, which comes after 60 seconds, right? Yeah. yeah. Instead of like 15 or whatever it is after LS. Yeah. So yes. I have to wait for a bit here. Yeah, wait for the phone call. Just using, using the uh, in game timer to check when it is. There we go. So we've got the uh, on mission zero phone call again. I'm going to head over to the next mission. Which is meat business. So I'm not going to do meat business. I'm just going to carry the call through it. Yeah. It's just convenient to set it up now. Try. <laughs> it's trying so hard. It's not too much to this mission, just need to drive Rosenberg back to the meat factory where you just were, a shootload of guys and come out. Oh, a lot of driving on the same roads. Yeah. Slowly as well, because you have him on the back of the bike. Yeah, unlike in Vice City, you can't lean forward while somebody is with you on your bike. So cars are pretty much preferable if someone's going to be with you most of the time. Do you have time for some donations? Yeah. yeah. Alright, we have a $10 anonymous donation that says, This is from the Mumble Boys in honor of our fallen comrade Yara. Rest in peace, my man. We will never forget you. Shit! They started a fire to keep us back. There must be an extinguisher here somewhere. Fine. Early, no witnesses. And we have a $2 donation from S. I'll donate another $2 if MHMD bops Yoshimush knows. Also, tell Wussy we'll be having no more trouble with them. <laughs> For charity. <laughs> We should quickly mention that uh, shooting rockets in this mission is actually pretty risky if you don't time it correctly. So uh, if if their bullets hit your rockets, it'll explode the rocket. Uh, and obviously the rockets come from you, so if they shoot you and the rocket at the same time, uh, bad things happen. Also, that guy was being a pain in the butt. Yeah, dancing, dancing a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, holding phone call again. Fortunately, I couldn't lean forward here anyway, so this doesn't actu actually waste any time. Nobody can stop us. Nobody in the world. Johnny's a done deal, and so is his gang. 
We have a five dollar donation from Dark Viper AU. I wish I could be there to meet my fellow Grand Theft Auto speedrunners. Have a good one, guys. Hearts. Thank you. And so a little strat coming up here. Whatever vehicle you drive into that marker is going to despawn, guaranteed. So I want to keep using the bike, so I'm going to take a sacrificial lamb. Need to be in a vehicle? Yeah. Whole premier. So now for the mission I actually want to do. Is this fish in a barrel? Yeah. Yeah. So this mission is just a cutscene, nothing else. Uh, but you can still dupe it to skip the next mission. So it's gonna like enter the cutscene in a specific way, then like uh, answer the phone call, which will then start another copy, copy of the, the same cutscene. But the cutscene increases the mission counter, so the mission, the, the game will think he's done like you know two missions. So he's gonna stand like, yeah, there, that's good. There you go. So you can see like the, the cutscene started twice, and there he just passed the mission twice. Yeah. Hey, there's our uh, royal flush saves we're gonna use. <laughs> <laughs> I'll st save one more time in Las Venturas, don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just can't get the luck this run, man. I wonder how many times you've fallen off yeah. this run, like... B uh, billion. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. I just want to do a quick reminder that after this round, we do have the Trackmania 2 Stadium run by Spam. And we ha actually have a bid war for that going on about which country car he's going to use for the run in particular. So if you want to make sure that your country gets represented through the run, make sure to get the donations in. Officer. Yeah, you can see that he got a wanted star and then the, the plane cutscene that's still running in the background took it all away. Yeah. It's pretty good. As long as it doesn't go wrong. As long as it doesn't die. Yeah. That, uh, oh, that'll yeah. screw everything up. Yeah, death would, uh, or busted, I guess, would also remove it. Yeah, I guess. Getting busted would be pretty impressive, though. Yeah, it's random swap and still. He, like, he still hasn't unlocked Los Venturas, so he's still constantly getting four stars all the time, but the... That plane cutscene is taking it away. If yeah. he was busted on the frame, then he had the stars. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's my truck. So that there was. Uh, I took the call hands free in the Mad Dog cutscene. So if I had just pressed F to cancel it, I would have taken the call. So you can cancel the call by shooting and then pressing F. So that call counts as not taken, so I can use it here. Yeah. Pick up the phone call again, hold it during this mission. Hold it for the, the next one. <laughs> A little further back? Okay. It's interesting how the dialogue or like the subtitles here is the same as paramedic, except it says mad dog instead of the patient. Second to nobody else, homeboy. And the name's called. Except it's pretty easy to kill Mad Dog. It's pretty hard to kill a paramedic patient. Yeah. Not in GTA 3. Well, you have to like hit a wall really hard to actually do it. Yeah, and if uh, if anyone's ever done like been playing this game and they couldn't get past this mission because Mad Dog fell off the house, uh, it's because you used the riot cheat code, I believe it is, that causes that. But there's like a few cheat codes in the game which mess with AIs like permanently. Uh, so if Mad Dog just falls off and dies, it's because you used too many cheats. Time for the next dupe. Yep. So it's still holding that phone call. 
going to go go do misappropriation. Now this is a uh, <laughs> this is another dupe that has some some pitfalls. Is that right? <laughs> it's yeah. difficult. Has problems. Um, so in this mission, you need to pick up a briefcase that spawns, uh, and if you start two copies of it by duping it, the second briefcase isn't actually pick upable. You need to like wait for one of the AIs to pick up the briefcase for you, and then you can kill them, and then you can pick up the briefcase. So you can see he's starting like he just answered a phone call after starting the mission, so he just starts two copies of it. Nice train, like <laughs> railroad crossing. <laughs> God damn. I should be just in time for a black project. <laughs> yeah, you guys can hear what's going on in the background. There's a lot of a lot of really cool stuff happening behind us. Yeah, there's arcade cabinets. Oh god. <laughs> People are speed running one of the arcade games. Yeah, there's Daytona USA, but there's also like this. Um, it's kind of like a light gun game. You have to like shoot these targets. Um, it's actually pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. Hard to do well. Yeah, the fastest time is like two seconds or something stupid. Jesus <laughs> Ow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Daytona. All right, just flying over to the where the mission is because it's faster. Muted vod, yeah. 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 Everyone who's everyone who's watching this live, it's probably exclusive <laughs> to live because all the music. Yeah, if you didn't want it to get muted, you'd have to like turn off radio entirely. Yeah. So I've done that, and it's pretty miserable sometimes, <laughs> just in complete silence. Yeah. The radio is just so good in this game. All right, so he's going to take this briefcase, that one. Then he's going to keep looking where the second briefcase is, but it's invisible. Now we need to wait for one of them to pick it up. There he is. And then you need to kill the other guys to make sure they don't pick it up again. Or kill me. There we go. So he's waiting for that phone call, and then he picks up the second briefcase. There you go. So he passed that mission twice. And keeps the uh, keeps the phone call. Oh, yeah, you have to keep shooting. Yeah. <laughs> so now he sets up the phone call for another dupe later on. Another dupe right now. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Black projects. This one's a fun one. Are you doing like in cutscene release? He's gonna start two copies of this mission. Hey, the ambulance is still there. Yeah. All right. So we start the cutscene. Then it does like some phone call manipulation in the middle of the cutscene, and then that starts the second copy. That should be good. Yeah. Just uh, if he picks up the armor and the oh, yeah, okay. yeah, got it. There, yeah. You can tell by the second mothership being there or the yeah. second copy of armor. Yeah, so this mission's running twice as well. And now we're going to go get the jetpack. Luckily it doesn't dupe the soldiers. <laughs> I mean, they don't do anything anyway. Oh, the, yeah, I guess the indoor ones do. Mm. Yeah, so here, here is the uh, AK-47 sliding, which he's been doing a bit. Uh, but this is way back in Los Santos. He was shooting his own car with the AK-47 to train AK-47 skill. Uh, this is the reason, so he can like slide with the AK-47 and shoot at the same time. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that explosion is there's a vehicle that spawns in this mission, and that explosion is it spawning inside of a copy of itself and exploding. Dude, jetpack, I can't complain if one's stolen. Are you gonna pause buffer on me? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just do a 50 50 uh, coin flip yeah, yeah. here. Throw a 50 50 coin flip. Yeah, so he picked up the minigun uh, back there. And he's going to use that a little bit for the next few missions. You can uh, conveniently slide with the minigun as well, and it's pretty overpowered. But yeah, there's a strat here where you can jump from like close to the top of these stairs 
and uh, just pause buffer when you reach the jetpack, and it's like a 50% chance that you hit the jetpack before you die. <laughs> Thankfully, he didn't go for it. <laughs> he just went down the stairs normally. I don't think he'd do it in world record attempts anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it's not much faster. Pretty ridiculous. All right, now we get to go watch this next cutscene twice, sort of. Yeah, I guess we could remind people how to, how sliding works. Oh, are people confused about sliding? Yeah, so. Yeah, it's been some hours. Yeah, yes, yeah, fair enough. So yeah, there's like certain guns in this game that you, when you aim and move, you move slower. Um, so if you like crouch with those and then aim and sprint at the same time, uh, you can like put CJ into this glitched state where he's like sprinting and crouching at the same time. Um, and that lets you like, you can do this sliding movement where you like slide through things. And depending on like what weapon is and what weapon skill you have with it, you can like shoot at the same time. So yeah, obviously sliding with an AK-47 through there is pretty convenient. Uh, and the reason it's faster is because you can't, for the most part, you can't sprint inside there. There's like some surfaces you can, but yeah, it's better. Mostly stairs. Slide. Yeah. Stairs and destructible objects. Hey, here you go. You better stash it somewhere fast. Far out. Have a nice trip, dude. Hey, wait a... Ah, was it too much to ask to get a lift in the town? Yeah, there you go. So that cutscene played twice. They <laughs> passes the mission twice. Oh, of course. They do, do, man. Yeah, it's like... It's like, uh... His first line sort of, like, plays one after the other, and then every other line plays two at the same time, so it's twice as loud as normal. Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 773. That's sick. <laughs> Need to answer a call anyway. So just one more mission in RTL or in Las Venturas. St. Mark's. Yep. Yeah, so because he duped the previous mission, uh, that marker doesn't actually have a mission. It's just visually there, but it does nothing. So, so yeah, I actually have w only one mission available, but this minimap is starting to get pre <laughs> pretty cluttered. Yeah, there's like still like mission markers around, and there's like, you know, woozy, and <laughs> there's a crash mission. Yeah, we don't have to, don't have to do any of those, thankfully. But for the most part, all of those markers are all off to one side of the map, and you're at another side, so it doesn't get too confusing. And you don't use the map too much in speedruns anyway. You know where everything is. Well, there are some missions where with like varying patterns or something. Where yeah, if it's like yeah. random. What's up with the random stars? Yeah, so. Omega hasn't unlocked Los Venturas yet because uh, we skipped the mission that unlocks it but he did a glitch where he has zero stars permanently um, so every now and then the game just gives him the four stars he should have and then immediately takes them away again. We got time just for a couple of nations while you're on your way yeah. to Liberty City. Yeah, yeah. We got five dollars from Kilati. Hello, first time I can give for ESA, so it's a pleasure to help and represent France with French Car and Trackmania. Thank you. Then we have uh, an anonymous $150 donation. Gotta love the boy Royolu, but gotta give Arizal and the Norwegians a lot more. Go, go, Norway. Thank you. Yeah, so yeah, this is just like a really long flight to, to Liberty City. Uh, so yeah, donations, obviously. Yeah, you basically just fly over water.
Yeah, so uh, when, when, he, um, when he's on a bike, he like, you lean forwards. Uh, if you lean forwards just the right amount, you, uh, you go a lot faster. So that's why he's like leaning forwards on the bike constantly. Might as well answer chat questions, I guess. Why there's so many markers on the map? Yeah. <laughs> Just explain that. Yeah, there's uh, there's a bunch of missions that we did that twice, and then yeah, they, they left the markers there, and yeah, can't yeah, they add to the markers twice, but they only take them away once. Nice shotgun. God. Ooh, satchel strats. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think he got it. Some lovely classical music. <laughs> Oh, that's why I get oh. armor. <laughs> that, one. Yeah. that guy has like armor also, so takes quite a few shots. Easy mission with a minigun. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't know about that. <laughs> Jeez. Night vision. Nice. Thermal vision. Oh yeah, okay. Water's looking pretty warm there. Yeah, yeah. that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> How long does that stay? Until the mission passes. Okay. <laughs> Good bitrate destroyer. Bitrate destroyer, yeah. <laughs> This is pretty trippy. <laughs> so slow. <laughs> wow, that looks really weird. Thermal vision. Pink City. Hotline Miami. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Miami, VC is in like three days. Six segue. <laughs> CJ101. So the moment I pass this mission, Las Venturas will be unlocked and won't yeah. get four stars. We made it through without getting a plane, the plane cutscene to end. Yeah, that whole section of Omega had died, it would have been, you know, run over. So it's really, really good that he got that right. It's like the most important part. Are you gonna reload? So, yeah. Yeah. So he's just gonna he's gonna save and then reload the save here to get rid of that plane cutscene that's still happening in the background. Uh, it's just so in case a car spawns with the same ID that it doesn't teleport him and ruin a mission. So there you go. We have unlocked Lost Ventura Sebast. After doing like 17 missions here or something. He also took his goggles off now, so that's nice. <laughs> Time for pause buffering. Oh, maybe. Never mind. No. If they you get lucky with pause buffer there, they like jump out of the plane while the door is still opening. They just go through the plane. Yeah. You ever jumped before? You ever jumped before? <laughs> you ever jumped before? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of line duping can happen if you get unlucky with it. Now here's another point where taking a car makes things really, really difficult. Yeah. So if you're ever doing this mission, uh, don't steal one of these cars. It's very tempting, but don't do it. Because uh, as I explained in Los Santos ages ago, if you get in a car, it changes how accurate the AIs are. And then it doesn't reset when you get out of the car on missions. Uh, so it would make this mission really hard. Magic jump. No. 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 Magic jump. No. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> well, I got the trigger, so. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, you hit the hit the hitbox. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Don't scare me. Oh, look here. Yeah, now he just has to wait for the, the other guys who parachuted to finally hit the ground. Um, doesn't, you don't actually have to kill any Vagos, but you can if you want to. 
And then as soon as uh, they hit the ground, then you go inside the thing. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, nice try. So you need to stay on the roof while the rest of the guys parachute in. So he was trying to make the game think he was still on the roof by standing on the fence. Not quite. Safe strats. Just hide behind the air conditioning. Glorious air conditioning. <laughs> I wish we had that. Alright, so now he's gonna use the minigun and slide through all of this mission and just blast people away with the minigun. Yeah, somewhat safe strats because low health. Should be fine. Yeah. It's just the uh, just those hallway guys. That's it. You don't know who you're fucking with, do you? Trying to fuck with my house with, with my, my shit. shit. <laughs> no way, you made it through him. I didn't think you could do that. Okay. And then these two. You. Yeah, you're fine. Casually running. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now this guy drives away from you in his Phoenix, and you have to like chase him and blow him up and stuff. Uh, but thankfully, there's a, a quick way to do it with the minigun. Just line up. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty easy because, like, as soon as you aim and shoot, then like, then like the the whatever it is is already like on the car, so you don't really have to aim. The reticle. Yeah. <laughs> crosshair. Yeah, whatever. It's not a crosshair. <laughs> it's, a, it's a circle. <laughs> uh. All right, and this mission you can start without answering the phone call for it for some reason. So and it goes for any missions at uh, Mad Dog's Mansion. Okay. Again, it's like different people programmed every mission marker or something. Now this is a fun mission. It is. It is my favorite mission. This is Vertical Bird, where you steal the Hydra and fly around with it. Yeah, so you need to run through this boat and go up top and steal the hydras that are waiting. Uh, you can disable like the uh, SAM sites, uh, but we don't because you're just too fast. It just doesn't they don't target you anyway. Yeah, the M4 guys are more lethal. Yeah. So he's going to try and do a thing here where he lines up these three hydras that are going to spawn. He's going to line them up so that he they hit this bridge and he doesn't need to shoot them. Uh, it's Kinda random though, whether it works or not, so just keep it on the map till they hit it. Uh, one maybe. One at least. Yeah, so yeah, one one helicopter, uh, one Hydra got destroyed by the bridge. So, okay, it, it's not awful, but... Yeah, so he's just gonna ignore those Hydras chasing him for a bit and just shoot at these boats. Hopefully they fly into a mountain or something and destroy themselves. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty unlikely, but... Yeah, just trying to save time, not having to shoot at them. And these sick, sick, sick keep flying forward strats. Yeah, real pussy strats would be like getting out and using the minigun, but... Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can like get out on the bridge and shoot all these boats with a minigun. Yeah. Actually, uh, yeah, shoot these guys while you're... Oh yeah, it did, it did blow up. Oh, there you go then. Yeah. Just need to take these guys out, the guys that dodge the bridge. Is he going down? Yeah. It should be. Another one isn't, is he? Man, this, this is why is it's annoying if these guys survive. Yeah, you really want them to hit the bridge. Oh, okay, he's, he's yeah, down. He must be going down with that. Right? Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Fuck you, Torino! I never want to go through this again! I think I'm an Earl! I think I'm an Earl. Oh, uh, he's going to try and hit two markers at the same time here by parking very carefully. Yeah, so the plane's like on the runway and the wing's touching the inside of the hangar. Yeah, you're supposed to land on the runway, they go in the hangar, but you can do both at the same time. 
Nice. Alright. Now time to go collect some minigun ammo. Not much though. Yeah, not much anymore. Yeah, when you build, when you beat Vertical Bird, a uh, bunch of hev like all the heavy weapons start spawning at Torino's house, like the uh, flamethrower minigun and the two rocket launchers. So you can abuse that by getting one, then saving, and then respawns again. Yeah, the weapons respawn every six in-game hours, and saving advances time by six hours. Yeah, we're just gonna go here and collect minigun ammo for Return to Los Santos. Uh, we used to collect loads because you had to do gang territories, uh, but now thankfully with duping we don't have to do gang territories anymore. Just completely skip it. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, how much ammo are you getting? Three stacks. Three stacks, alright. So one more and then we'll leave. I also want to hold a call. Yeah, he's gonna go set up uh, on mission zero phone call again with trucking. Not trucking, uh, bike oh, quarry. Oh, bike, okay. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> this magnificent weather. <laughs> what well, just exploded? It's uh, Nevada, just random explosions everywhere. <laughs> yeah, back in the day they did test nukes there. Carefully <laughs> over all these cars of the Hydra. Alright. So he's waiting for the right moment. There we go. Get the phone call at the same time as walking into that marker. Now you have a glitched phone call. Oh hey, yeah, wanted stars, you can get those now. <laughs> yeah, too bad I already got the phone call, suckers. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, time to go start the next mission twice. Which doesn't exactly do what you would think. No, so up to this point, starting missions twice, uh, has let you skip the preceding mission, uh, but now something different happens here. Uh, again, it's like different programmers programmed every marker. So yeah, this is, again, you don't need to answer the phone call to start this mission. It's so inconsistent. At Wanted Star it's actually convenient because now I can don't have to cancel the call. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, maybe I do now. So yeah, there you go. So he started this mission twice using the phone call. Now we're gonna go get sweet from the prison. We earn his freedom by stealing this Hydra for Torino. Yeah. Figure that out. <laughs> Even though we own the Hydra, like, what did he gain from it? <laughs> oh yeah, good hitbox. Nice level of detail. Alright, I just need any car here because you can't pick up sweet in a Hydra because there's only one sweet uh, seat. One sweet in it. <laughs> one sweet. <laughs> I wish you could pick him up in a Hydra. There won't actually just be one sweet, will there? Just pick him up in a Hydra, just have him like hanging off the wing or something. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> have you ever tried to do that on the PS2 version of multiplayer? <laughs> Just try and go from one side of the island to the other. You can't like go in plane when you have to like hover all the way. I feel like it would be like when you're jumping on top of a car, like you'd you'd be fine as as long as the plane didn't like turn or something. Yeah. Yeah. If it didn't bank, yeah. <laughs> nice chill music. Alright, so we need to reclaim Grove Street from the ballers. Uh, from both, oh, and drug dealers too. You wouldn't think it, but this game has a very strong anti-drug message to it the whole way through. I actually got spawns this time. Yeah, that's, that's great. Nice. So yeah, he's doing like he's gonna do like the gang war and these guys at the same time just to save a bit of time here. Maybe uh, Rodrigo Duterte played too much, I say. 
take time for a few quick donations. Yeah, go yeah. for it. We have a $3 donation from S. Uh, dot, 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 counterfeit chips. Here's the promise $2 for the nose boob. Good job, MH. Plus one extra that I was going to donate anyway. <laughs> now I'm out. This was a top-notch run. Also, I unfortunately ran out of hundo jokes, so I ask all three of you to come up with one yourself. Oh, I'm not a hundo. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Give me a minute. Can I make a true hundo joke? <laughs> all right. So, stuff happens. Yeah. So, because he duped the previous mission, it actually makes two copies of this mission. So you just walk into two different muckers. Uh, and there's a real sweet and a fake sweet. So you have to... You, you can ignore the fake sweet, but he gets on the bike a lot. So you just kill the fake sweet and take the his well, real brother. You have to kill the fake sweet because uh, you, you can't get a too far away from him or this marker will go away. Oh, okay. Oh, because you're using the bike, right? Instead of a yeah. car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weak. Blame pork. All right, now we're going to retake Glen Park for a second time. And we get more fun things with these cutscenes because there's two copies of the mission. Alright, so he's like manipulating the spawns of the uh, gang members by standing and looking in a certain direction. Yeah, better not to have them spawn like in split groups. Um, yeah. Like if you're at an intersection, they can spawn on like the two streets that you're not looking at. But if there's only one spot far enough to actually put them on, then they're all in one place. Yeah, you want to make sure your camera is like looking. Like when there's a crossroad, you look at all possible. Yeah. Hello, CJ. Because the, the default spawning is like two groups. Yeah, and Sweet gets in the way a lot. This hood is mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's two copies of this. Uh, okay. Sure. How did you not take damage from that? That scene, probably. Yeah. So there's like two copies of these guys. You have to make sure you kill all of them before you go into the marker. Say so. hey. Alright, and we watch that cutscene a little bit and then <laughs> skip it and start the next one. <laughs> Hello, sweet. There you go. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and that skips Grove for life. Yeah. Good stuff. All the dupes have gone really well. This just had a bit of difficulty with the zero star glitch, and that was it. And Badlands. Farming. Well, mean, yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Got some true gamers. X alternative. God, I love crying. I have so much pain. You couldn't possibly. Oh yeah, this radio host. So edgy. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just all the dialogue in this game is just so good. Hmm. Do another safe to save. In case the game crashes or something has happened before. You didn't save over Los Venturas, right? <laughs> I can just fly there. Okay. Well, after the cutscene. <laughs> oh, no, load that save. All right. All right. So now we've got to drive Mad Dog to the uh, OG Loke shoot. And, uh, there's a fast strap for this, but it's really scary. So, yeah, uh, Mad Dog can't swim, and we have to do a jump over water to hit an invisible hitbox. I wonder how many police chases I've gotten during this run. Yeah. Just traffic in general has just been so cruel. Well, we've hit 420. Yeah. There's well, like three more missions after this. Yeah, we're almost at the end of the run. Alright, so he needs to line up his jump carefully and make sure he has enough speed. It's not too hard as long as you're going fast enough. 
Yeah, that's good. He got it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you miss that, uh, Mad Dog just dies. Yeah. Ooh, Van Strats. Yeah. So you're supposed to take the hovercraft. But uh, this is faster. Yeah. Just follow Mad Dog with the van. You washed up, both of you. <laughs> no, I ain't. <laughs> no, I ain't. You're only slightly washed up. <clears throat> I'd like to see you do this. You do this run on the marathon. <laughs> yeah, well, I was never. Uh, I had nothing to wash up on in this game, so. So it's just way faster to drive this news van than it's to the, the hovercraft. And you only need to hit this trigger here, the end of this uh, pier. Yeah. Without losing uh, Oglock. Yeah. Unfortunately, it breaks the radio on this part for oh. whatever reason. Normally, the go karters radio. That's weird. We'll get to a few more donations. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Forward. Got a twenty dollar uh, dollar anonymous donation. Viva la France! Thank you. Uh, another anonymous twenty dollar donation for the French car in Trackmania. Thank you again. Uh, twenty dollar donation from Lincolnitu. Trackmania is French. French car all the way. Baguette. Uh, a thirty eight dollar anonymous donation saying Viva Kanjo. Thank you. And finally, an uh, $18 anonymous donation. Greetings from Finland. Hopefully this mar marathon gains as much popularity as GDQ someday. Thank you. So who's chasing who? This, you're right, this is so quiet without radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the go kart doesn't make any noise either, it's just like silence. It's like occasional tire screeching. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just a quiet chase. <laughs> and the van spawn. Yeah, so we're just waiting for Oglock to reach a certain point. There you go. Hey, ZR. Or? And cops, so I don't have to. Well, I probably have to answer a call, but. Or cancel a call, but still. So I actually need to do a bit of shopping during this mission. Because yeah, I lost yeah. all my weapons <laughs> back in Badlands. <laughs> How did he not climb that? The monkey. There you go. So yeah, you're gonna have to. Uh, yeah, need to buy a satchel. You can't stop this swing, you're really doing this? Yeah. Oh, well, I can't go to the highway, so which would be the other option. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Makes sense. That <laughs> just spawns under you. Jeez. <laughs> step on it. Come on, let's roll and step on it. Just walk into the store. Build in the middle. Step on it. Buy a few. Yeah, yeah, it's probably safe. See you again soon. Yeah, and in order to skip gang territories, there's like a really complicated dupe that has to happen, and you need the satchels for it. You're going to need body bags for all the ladies dropping in the swoon in the CSR. 
now the entirety of Los Santos is in riot mode, so there will be cars exploding everywhere and people like stealing TVs and stuff like that. Like shooting each other on the street. Like there, the <laughs> car just randomly set on fire. Yeah, if you need to steal a car from the road during this bit, you're, you're really out of luck. Everything, every car is going to have like half health or be about to explode, and everyone's like really aggressive. I'm going to do one more safety save because my game has actually crashed during a run just after this point. Plus, this next setup can fail too. Right, so he's gonna go get a glitched phone call again, but this time using uh, Los Santos Stadium. This is the reason we needed to do driving school earlier in the run, to get enough uh, driving skill to be able to take part in this stadium event. So yeah, he's got the uh, glitched phone call. So he's like holding the phone call during the end of this. Rip Daytona simulator. <laughs> now, now to go start <laughs> the next mission. Jeez. If I could. <laughs> Alright, so this mission is really hard to do. It's you can't just start two copies of it. You have to uh, you have to start the second copy of this mission at exactly the same time the first copy ends. Because uh, you, you, you could just start two copies of this, but then you soft lock in the final cutscene because Caesar is stuck inside of himself and he never gets out. And he needs to like walk to a certain point before the cutscene ends. So you have to get all the way to the end of the mission once and then come all the way back to Los Santos, trigger the end of the mission by using a satchel and then walk into CJ's house and answer a phone call at exactly the right moment and then start another copy of the... Uh, Start another copy at exactly the right time as well. Yeah, it sounds slow, but it skips like the first part of end of the line, which requires the gang territories, and yeah. obviously this is a lot shorter than that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the the final mission in this game is actually three missions in the code, and the first mission requires you to have taken over like you know, four, thirty three percent of LS or whatever it is. Uh, so in order to skip that requirement, we're just skipping the first part of end of the line and going straight to the second part. It looks really funny when it happens. Keep together. So yeah, I just need to. Unfortunately, it means you have to play through this mission twice. Double the gang member bail RNG. Keep it yeah, r sometimes randomly your gang members can just jump out of the car and like run away. Which means you have to recruit new ones. Yeah, it used to be like you take over a territory by the station, so you can just recruit some easily. Uh, but obviously, that's not the case anymore. So. Hazer. Hazer. Rip Hazer. Alright, so he's going to kill all but the last enemy here, uh, and then he's going to run up to them and attach the satchel charge to them. So this is like a re ex uh, remote controlled explosive. So now that satchel is attached to that enemy, 
he's going to drive all the way back to Los Santos and get ready to start the second copy of this mission. He's going to make sure he kills those guys, though, because they can kill that last guy. I've never seen it happen, but, I mean, why take the risk? It happened to me when I was trying it out when it was new before. Really not worth taking the risk. Yeah, this was a big thing for the run. Like, skipping all of gang territories is such a big deal. It took us ages to figure this out. Yeah, we had, like, theories for ages, but nothing, like, that would actually work. Yeah. Was because weird? we actually uh, tried to figure this out first by... Uh, duping Riot three times, which isn't possible. Like starting a mission three times isn't possible with current knowledge. There was that weird PS2 exclusive. <laughs> Audio cue. Yeah. What? Uh, hmm. That seemed right to me. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, he got unlucky. Well, not unlucky, but. The very last timing didn't work out. So he needed to, he was waiting for a certain line to happen or like dialogue to disappear from the screen. Everyone uses different timings. And as soon as that happens, he shoots two times with the shotgun and then cancels it. And he starts the second copy of the mission exactly the same time as the first one start, uh, ends. But unfortunately, the first copy ended before it got into the second, second marker. That was really weird. It's like really precise timing, so. I want to lose the star. Usually the shotgun is pretty consistent. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to use a shotgun, it's just for timing. Yeah. But yeah, doing it, just winging it is like, so hard. Yeah. Such a shame. You got like the the satchel and the phone call, right? Because like, he, uh, he walked into CJ's house and answered the phone call to regain control of him and move around in that cutscene and stuff. Alright, so we'll have to do it again. Actually cancel. God damn it. <laughs> you cancel the phone call. Yeah, because Sniper rifle. Yeah. Scored one too little. Yeah, so aiming with a sniper rifle cancelled the phone call. Can I get a green wood to spawn? Like, please. <laughs> get out the way. Yeah, this this one last dupe is just so hard to pull off. But it's like the most important because it skips so much. Alright, so got the glitched phone call, head back to the mission. Are you shooting to cancel the phone call there? Yes. Yeah. Is it like a, a silent phone call happening in the background? Oh, friend. Come on, man, we brothers, you and me. Northside Bible's assholes! Follow 
me. Come on, quick, go, go. What y'all waiting for? Keep together. Stay close. Got a uh, two dollar donation from Henke. Hey Omega, when is Hong Kong? Shout out to everyone at ESA, Josh, Omega, see you soon, Kappa. <laughs> and a uh, five dollar donation, five dollar donation from Nemesis Six. Shout out to MHMD's jawline, Yowza. What's up? Is it really that good? <laughs> Why? Why? Thanks, homie. Hmm. Hopefully that guy doesn't move. He's moving. It will be extremely lucky if, it, if this works. You could have just like moved him on, onto the satchel and then like r run him over with a car. Keep him down. Well, he dies. Yeah, but... I mean, he dies. He dies if eventually. No, he dies really fast. <laughs> Took my seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, I did. Yeah, this game is refusing to cooperate at all. Like, a homie got in front of me. Yeah, mm. and tank the satchel. Oh man, <laughs> overestimate boys. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it really isn't your fault. All the stuff that's happened this run. It's just GTA speedrunning. Sometimes <laughs> it just doesn't work out like this. <laughs> like, what is this? You need a non-police vehicle. Anything. You could just walk at this point. <laughs> sure. But I need a car so I can cancel the call. Don't you have a silenced pistol? <laughs> this is so silly. This is ridiculous. Like, this is the last hard thing of this whole run, and then it's like just breeze to the end. It just won't let you do it. At least it's at the end and not like in the middle of the run with some other trick. I guess. Because like if he died during uh, like the no stars glitch, that would have been pretty bad. Yeah. Worst case scenario, gets mercy killed after you kill Big Smoke or after you uh, leave the crack house or whatever. Because that's just like an auto scroller pretty much. The bike. You have to do better. Hey, Ken, how you doing? Why you just ah! second? <laughs> Seriously, dude? He's taking his time, he's going it. Alright, this time. 
Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Come on, man. We brothers, you and me. You can ask me anything. Okay, here goes. I wanna ask. Northside Vagos, assholes! Follow me! Come on, quick, go, go! Keep together! What is the question? Play SA and see for yourself. Stay close! What you do is waiting for? Alright, can you not like do circles around me this time? Hey. Hey, over here, come on, keep up. Not We just got a $100 donation from Mr. Post. And, uh, come on. It's about time Joey got a driver we can trust. <laughs> Thank you, Post. Hey, Post. Just as that mission ends, he starts the second copy. And now we can skip all of gang territories and go straight to end of the line part two. Yeah, it'll happen like right when this mission passes again. So yeah, that's pretty like good. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The way Rockstar programmed end of the line is three different missions. You can see how it works. Yeah. When this happens. It would been pretty sick if you could you could just skip all of end of the line and just went straight to the credits after duping it. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, this is still you can't really complain about skipping gang characters, like. Yeah. yeah. This game is just so brutal to get a complete run done. I mean, that's why people do LS percent. <laughs> Or Neo here. Keep together. Come on. Stay close. Kill that fool. What you do is waiting for. Behind us! 
and then <laughs> want to see a magic trick <laughs> so yeah doing this increases the uh, mission counter one more time and then as soon as that happens as soon as the mission ends smoke dies <laughs> And now this is, uh, this is end of the line part two. So yeah, the way they did it is that as soon as you win the big smoke boss fight, it instantly starts the next mission. It's like a seamless transition. Uh, but there it doesn't make much sense when you do it like that. So now we have to escape this Strog Palace, which we uh, invaded. And it's on fire. You can jump over fires. It's lit. <laughs> so yeah, once you get that uh, uh, gang territory skip done, it's just like just a sliding breeze with the, <laughs> the minigun to the end of the game. There's like a little bit of driving, but I mean, yeah. I'm gonna mess that up. Another magic trick. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> grabby. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, no soft lock. Also okay. has happened. Yeah. yeah. So Not it's like time. six and a half minutes from this point. Yeah. Press the stop button, MH. <laughs> Unless Omega wants to. Nah, can still miss weed. We ain't pressing it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Press it at the end. <laughs> now this fire truck is just gonna rubber band, so you, you don't want to get too far behind or in front of it. Yeah, it's like the uh, it's like a reverse rubber band. The further away you get, the slower he goes. So you want to be closer to him. Yeah, if you get in front of him, like in one of these alleyways, he'll just like smash into you. Yeah, clip through you, and you'll just go flying. Yeah, just the auto scroller to the end. Yep. Half driving, half shooting. People tend to say GG when you get to the shooting part, so uh, you have our blessings to say GG at that point. Chat. At that point, there's like literally no nothing you can do to speed it up or slow it down unless you like die. <laughs> no, not now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Preempting the GGs. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> it's a bit after this. Yeah. I'm trying to be a role model, but y'all know we got love for ESD. Of course, doing it with Dr. Dre, that right there is easier said than done. Yeah, so this was a crazy run, especially at the start of the fire truck. Weirdest shit. Yeah, such a strange run. 
so such a roller coaster as well. Yeah. Lots of marathons for you, I guess. Yeah. Now this is gonna be like a four thirty four or four 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 fifty four and thirteen or something like that. Could have been a lot better. <laughs> After the shooting part, they still don't get it. <laughs> uh, no <laughs> BG went overestimate. <laughs> hey, machine pistol skill though. Yeah, <laughs> pretty important. <laughs> Two SMGs while doing Royal Flush. Can you change the camera in this part? Riders on the bridge up ahead. They're dropping ship that bridge. Look out, CJ. Watch our six. The riders after us over. Got the casino music going at least. Yeah. Imagine that we're doing Royal Flush. Every time this happens, I forget how long this auto scroll is. It's so yeah. long. It's not even like nothing funny you can do either. Even VC's last mission is kind of an auto-scroller, because like the two spawns are on timers. Yeah. VCS and LCS and GTA 3 have good last missions. Rob Star just love the big dramatic endings. Yeah. Cinematic. Look how cinematic this is. <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> Over oh, 10, Benny. About 30 more seconds. I say 13. Enormous men. We're fighting to end hunger. Two seconds left. Hey. <laughs> oh man. What a roller coaster. Well, at least you made it. You didn't need any uh